Uh-huh. Whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're sleeping now. You gotta whip us more, yeah? Okay, let's go. The people lie to us. The government betray us. I said we tire with their lies. We tire with their promises that led us to a lot of damages. We tire with that speech they preach in the and now you need to deceive us. The thing we saw it frustrate us. So why can't you lie? Why can't you steal? Why can't you lie? Can't say the things don't be. You see, we just tell you that why we both tell you. But you screw us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that's the question that we ask. My people, where you at? Where you at? Wake up on your stomach, stop sleeping. Uh huh, uh huh. Whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're sleeping now. You gotta whip us some more, yeah? Okay, let's go. The people lie to us. The government betray us. I said we tired with their lies. We tired with their promises that led us to a lot of damages. We tired with that speech they preach in the and now you need to deceive us. The thing we saw it frustrate us. So why can't you lie? Why can't you steal? Why can't you lie? They say the things don't be. You see, we just tell you that why we vote tell you. But you screw us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that's the question that we ask. People fool us, they people lie to us. My people, where you at? Where you at? Wake up on your stomach, stop sleeping. Uh huh, uh huh. Whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're sleeping now. You gotta whip us more, yeah? Okay, let's go. The people lie to us. The government betray us. I said we tire with their lies. We tire with their promises that led us to a lot of damages. We tire with that speech they preach in the and now you need to deceive us. The thing we saw it frustrate us. So why can't you lie? Why can't you steal? Why can't you lie? They say the things don't be. You see, we just tell you that why we both tell you. But you screw us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that's the question that we ask.
The people who are so, the people that to us. My people, where you at? Where you at? Wake up on your stomach, stop sleeping. Uh huh, uh huh. Wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're sleeping now. You gotta wake up some more, yeah? Okay, let's go. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Can you hear me? You gotta mute more because whatever background conversation you have people hear me. Yeah, um when he come back, I'll put him back on. What's up guys? How are you? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's cool. it Friday. Is the uh, is the last day of the uh, of the week uh, for the show? I mean, in terms of uh, the weekly presentation, um, today is uh, Friday the thirteenth. Uh, there's a famous movie about Jason Friday the thirteenth. Uh, today is Friday the thirteenth. Uh, in 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 American folklore, Friday the thirteenth. Whenever it's it's a day of bad luck, according to them, they believe. Um, it's a day of bad luck, uh, Friday the 13th, but uh, uh, today is Friday the 13th. Um, we're glad to be here on the class reloaded. Um, as usual, we have with us today, um, Geraldine Pia, of, of course, um, our Reverend, Reverend Wendell E. Moore as our panelist. We have our correspondent all the way there in Bonn County. Michel Jupo, who will be giving us some updates. Um, we'll have Mo Ali. He's, uh, he's in the back. He'll be joining us shortly. And then we also have um, Senator Dillon who will join us uh, shortly. Today, um, we'd like to say um, to all of our radio stations, uh, Bourgeois Radio FM 98.1, there in Montserrado, Premier FM 98.1 in Bangabong County, 
Radio Dupa FM 89.1 in Grand Basel County, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3, they're in Vongerman Lofa County. Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5, Los Coast, uh, Voice of Gompa FM 106.5, all the way there in Gompa City, Nimba County. We'd like to say welcome to all of those of you watching us online via Facebook and other social media platform. Uh, we'd like to say welcome if you're watching live in the chat, just say present so that we can recognize you and know that um, you are in class. I see Abbas, Boli, I see Teofilos, uh, Jigbe, um, I see Donzo, Mohammed, uh, Isaac, Flomo, Kalilu, Trawale, Rose, Poyine, how are you, Rose? Um, Azonic, Flomo, uh, Fumi, Masikwe, Marie, Bade, Oro, Gawe, I see Sean Huggins, uh, Carolina, Caroline, Nepe, Lucine Darami, I see uh, Jokbo Jokbo, I see uh, Fobe Warite, Fali Tarawole, Wole Kobo, Rice Morris, Livingstone Bozzi, uh, I see uh, uh, Cornelius Hunter, um, I see Cornelius Hunter, I see Afa Gongoli, Tatina Ahmed, I see um, Cyrus Cyrus, Charles J.S. Young, Lai Sekusise, Mustafa Kanen. Kazim Sharif, uh, Jabate, Sablama, Maulu Moba, Fumba Sese, I see Stanley, Stanley, Seku Sese, Orogawe, I see Diki Kamara, I see uh, Jackson Doe, uh, May Koto, Blessing, Mumu Nelson, Prince Moivi Jacobs, uh, Abraham Sanon, Geraldine Tupe, Tom, uh, Jimmy Eastman. How are you, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy, you're in Washington. I, I, I usually hang around there for work. Uh, one of these days we'll connect. Um, Willie Cobwell, Bayou Jewel, Kristen Carr, Prince Jalabai, uh, Solo Jalo, um, James Molly White, Rice Morris, Alice Mason, Chris Chokon, Blodje Rato, uh, Tamba Bryman, Ham Hamedou Kabri, Samuel Barnes, Henry Manjo, uh, Sizi Siafa Kokolo, the uh, Sinian Kamara Kadiatu, Ahmed uh, Sharif, TM Joshua Chapter, James Moba. Uh, Kamara, Isaac, Zode, Ephraim Harris, Garmin Roberts, Napoleon, Tita, Miata, Yasia, Augustus King, Aaron Kawa, everybody, all of our family there, where you do it, Isaac Twa, Twala, Job Lee, Anderson, Marion Bridges, all of you, just share the show. Tonight edition, uh, let me say welcome to all of you, uh, Marcus, Isaac, Rebecca, Alfred, Luscious. Uh, 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 Edwin, uh, Blessing, uh, Bonasua, Marcus, and everybody. Cornelius Hunter, how are you, big brother? Everybody, we love you all. It's always a pleasure to be here and talk about Liberia with you. Today edition, we'll look at what's trending. Uh, we'll look at trending issue, and today we'll make it a little more uh, 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 unusual, like the regular show where we have a specific, specific topic. Today we'll have some general discussions about uh, trending issue first, and then we'll go into other national issues uh, happening uh, in the last two days, two, three days, um, and we'll talk about it lengthily. It's going to be interesting. Uh, don't touch that die. Stay here with us. It's really going to be interesting. There are lots of things we're going to, we're going to talk about here today. Um, and, 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 and I can guarantee that it's really going to be interesting. Senator Dillon will join us. Uh, in the next uh, few minutes or hour uh, so that we can continue the conversation. So please share the show, as we always say, you know, share the, share the live, each one bring five. This is the motto year in the year, 2023 election year. And uh, we are glad to have you. Uh, as usual, let me begin first with uh, with uh, um, Pastor Mo, um, three minutes, and we'll be clear on the time, three minutes. We'll be looking at the time from the screen. Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm taking you at, 17 minutes so by 20 uh we expect uh, that you'll be done with your training issue so um pastor mo go then we'll go to chupo we'll go um from 20 to um 23 then mo ali then pia can we uh, pastor mo yeah thank you so much good evening to our many viewers and listeners in radio land i want to be grateful to god for such an opportunity to be here and able to speak to our liberian people back home in, in the diaspora. 2023 is a decisive year for Liberia. And nobody can do it better for us than we ourselves. 
my one of my training issues have to do with the catches of arms by the Liberian National Police that were discovered by the Small Arm Control Commission. Unfortunately for us up to now, uh, we have not heard anything from the investigation. We have not heard anything from those that have that was arrested or allegedly arrested, whether they have been sent to court. We have yet to hear about it. So uh, it is the government or the, the police responsibility to update us on every happening. Once they come to the public with an issue and the public is concerned, is concerned, they need to continue until the case is laid to rest. So we're still waiting for, for the address of those arms that was discovered by the Small Arms Control Commission and the police went and, and confiscated those arms. Uh, also, uh, I read in the papers, uh, MRD or MDR, Prince YJ uh, announced that uh, uh, his party will be fueling a uh, uh, presidential candidate in the election. So uh, we, we look forward to that. We know uh, uh, what is unfolding in the nation, but we look forward to that. Also, uh, 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 away from Liberia, in the diaspora, to be exact, in Switzerland, there is a warlord, a former general, by the name of Aliyu Kos, Kosia, uh, uh, from from Lo in Lofa County during the war, there was some level of of, of, of treatment that the people in Lofa was ill was maltreated. A lady was raped and she survived. And, and, and a couple of people witnessed him killing the relative. The case is ongoing in Switzerland, and I think uh, uh, if such case is going on in Switzerland. Why can't we do the same in Liberia? Nice. We 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 see sen former Senator John Balut. Senator John Balut is 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 calling on for opposition to unite. He said that he's calling on for a compromise. I don't know what uh, 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 in which way he wants opposition to unite. But I think the opposition is united, and I think everyone. Who wants to vote the way they want to vote? Go and support your candidate because, as I understood, he is with the AMC and supporting them one way or the other. But he also is a Unity Party partisan. To climax, I see that uh, my girl arrived in Liberia, uh, and and upon his arrival, there was huge uh, uh, welcome. Uh, I don't know if those people were paid, but what caught my attention are those clergymen. What caught my attention from this whole thing are those clergymen. You see, if a country indict or, or, or accuse somebody of for corruption and the president failed to, 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 to institute or, or justice on these people and, and they are vowing for leadership, it's a scary thing for our nation. It's a scary thing for our nation. And those clergy that, that pray and, and say that they pray for Natalia Miguel to become senator. In my giving, I say to you all, your prayer will not be answered because we are praying for God's agenda in Liberia and not the enemy agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Chupo, trending issue from from Bob. So I just want to say, uh, good evening to the class family, good evening to all of those following. The app radio and uh, good evening to uh, many many viewers online. Uh, so it's a pleasure being with the team today again. Uh, so so many trending issues from uh, this side of the country. Uh, number one trending issue is uh, this lecturers again. Uh, schools of uh, lecturers numerators in bank are threatening to resist normal activities at the bank administrative building. If the government or if Leche Chiris Bond County coordinators refuse to pay their money. So we were able to speak with uh, some of the Leche coordinators, some of the contractors, and some of the district sensor officers. And it was that uh, information provided by Leche Bond County coordinator, some few days like that. I mean, some of the Leche numerators have been paid, though not all, by about 50%. I mean, the latest worker said 
That information provided by Mr. David Woodis is actually false and misleading, and it's far from reality. According to them, some of them worked, and I yet to receive a damn from those guys. And they are threatening that if next month, early next month, if they are not paid their full compensation, they are going to resist all activities. That is, government workers are not going to go in their various offices at the Banga administration building. And of course, there will be no activity or there will be no activity for that day. And contrary to that, Bunkan, that Liberia Vice President, Chief Director Joe Howard Taylor said, uh, the people are, are actually doing well, just by the, 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 just by the right hand rules from the citizens of this side. Uh, they are yet to receive aid after completing their work. But I mean, the Liberia Vice President, following a courtesy visit in Bunk of Russia, she said, let's just, I mean, following reaching from the management team and all the people, they are doing well and and, and I mean, they have actually completed their work and majority of those guys have been paid. But this has been greeted with mixed reaction from citizens in this part of the county. Now, some of them said, I mean, the information from the vice president is actually disheartening and they did not actually step for, I mean, ranking official of this government to actually come out and make such statements. Because according to them, they are, they are work. Some of them were taken to a bunk and sent to a bunk mine. Some of them were taken to some of the remoter places without giving a damn. But here they are. I mean, the, the vice president is coming out that the richest, truest, I uh, mean, country, I mean, country managers are actually doing well. And by extension, the latest border, they are actually doing well. But this has actually been greeted with mixed reaction from members of uh, this side of the country. So uh, another twenty issue from my uh, How can you pay attention this... to the time? You got forty five seconds. Yeah. So another twenty issue from my end. There's even former the former national president of the Federation of Liberia Youth Club, uh, Mr. Mohammed Nasser. He's calling on electors to actually start to hold their leaders accountable for promises made to them during the 2017 general elections in the country. According to him, this we are telling government has killed the Liberian people. Because according to him, during the 2017 election, I mean, VP Taylor made a promise to the people of Bunk that uh, the Loon County, that's uh, the Loon Bunk County Technical College, that's the Loon County Technical College, was going to be <laughs> was going to be constructed owner, with a complete owner, the administration of this government. But up to now, the government is still at the standstill. Some of the building, I mean, is yet to be completed, and several other things, including the, the housing unit that was promised by the president in this side of the country. And he named it as one of the added reasons that this government has failed the people, and they should not be given additional six years in the House of Parliament. So, I mean, that's it, and I'll rest for, for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jupal. Ali. Mo Ali, are you there? Mo Ali, can you hear us? I don't think Ali can hear us. Ah, it's like he froze, all right? That's Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, Miami. Welcome to Miami. But I mean, since since we, we it seems like we've lost him. Uh, Pia, you can you can go ahead, uh, uh, and then uh, once he comes back, he can he can uh, he can pick up. Okay. Um... So let me start with um, something that Revin touched on, which is the, the return of um, the rogue, the criminal, the work out of Zogo in the person of Nathaniel Fallow McGill. 
I saw him at a program today beyond his arrival, I think yesterday or so. I saw him at a program today. And what caught my attention was the messaging that he was doing at that program. McGill was trying to make a case of poor people versus rich people. According to him, a certain group of people, those who are quote unquote the rich people, the thing is the bad thing for country men, I mean for poor men to ever be anywhere near government. And so you are referencing President We are as a poor man, and that after We are leaves power, another poor man will take over from We are. And our poor man, son like him, when he becomes senator and leaves, is another poor man, son that will take over as senator. And, and, and let me beg your indulgence to not be straight jacketed with me on the time issue because. These these trending issues that I'm about to talk about. Yeah, yeah. We'll take we'll we'll your time. No, we we'll want to do proper messaging. So the Congo Po led the country for 133 years before Joe and his folks, who were supposed to be country boys and poor people, came to power. If you check. For the 133 years that those Congo people, as we call them, who we say were bad people, were in power, show me one grave site in the country belonging to those very Congo people that is a Muslim. The first public official ever in the history to build a Muslim for their dead relative. It's a man who called himself a poor man, Nathaniel McGill. Can a poor man build Muslim to bury a dead person? He was making reference to Gibraltar. We are from Gibraltar. Go to Gibraltar right now. There are people in Gibraltar who are still living in zinc shacks. There are people in Gibraltar whose wombs are massively leaking. There are people in Gibraltar who cannot have food to eat. But a dead person lives in a mansion. And the man who facilitated that is calling himself a poor man. Oh, yes, my girl, you are very poor. Everybody know your history. You are living in some uh, SKB Boulevard Road. I think I'm told one of the rolling dual compounds. And all of a sudden, as soon as you got your job as Minister of State, you bought a house that cost nearly three hundred thousand dollars, and you said you took the loan from the bank. Since that time, Miguel, you're building mansions across the country in Bon County. You wasting mansion, Maggie mansion, Bapolu mansion, all over mansion. If you are supposed to be that example of a poor man that would you give power and not money people, then that means we should be afraid to even give poor man power. Because what you show us is that a poor man is a damn role. A poor man in McGill is a criminal. A poor man is a Zogo, except that he's a white kind of Zogo. But worst of all, a poor man has a blasting hand. Every death that took place in that country, auditors, this person, that person, you are linked. Oh, that's the example of what a poor man is supposed to be. If this is so, then no poor man should ever come near government because by the time all the poor people bury Muslims to bury their relatives, building compounds for themselves all over the country, steaming their hands with blood, then there will be nothing called a viewer. So now you're messaging that you are doing is stupid. And we will catch up with you because we bring it right back to you. That you are poor man. And that the poor should continue to get poor men power. If they should judge poor men's behavior by you, then no poor men should get power. 1980, you're protecting people on the light poles and kill them. And the message was because they were rogues. 
in the Congo women born rogue and the native women born soldier. But now we see. So you bring in poor and native business. That the poor woman and native person reflecting in personality that you we are in order, you are a bunch of thieves, criminals, killers. That's what you are. And if that's an example that anybody should follow to decide who should be leader, then none of you, not to even mention any poor man or country member can be a power level. If we should take by, by your example. But no, we're not taking a beat that example. Because more at least said here, yeah, he's a poor man. Say you want preach country and something, he's a country man. He served, served in government. His repetition is outstanding. I'm a country man. I'm a poor boy from Big Town. I served. My repetition is outstanding. Stephen Surge, his repetition is outstanding. It's the lack of you and the other bunch of criminals. Hiding beyond this whole concept of native people, hiding beyond you come from Gibraltar, you come from Nikuta, you come from poor places, and you came to power, and you keep the people poor, and you are a bunch of looters, ropes, criminals, and killers. But wait a minute, my girl. I can see that you are troubled. I watch your videos. I pay attention to them. You look very troubled. Because the day of reckoning is coming for you. God himself will deal with many of you for the blood flowing across your hands. For the massive looting you don't keep your people poor. God himself will take vengeance against some of you. You troubled. When I watch your video and listen, I see how troubled you are. The Bible itself says there shall be no peace for the wicked. You are wicked. A rogue, a criminal, there shall be no, you shall have no peace of mind. So pass around my guinea and preaching your stupid messages and talking about poor men and blah, blah. Which poor men go build mountain and bury their human being? Who does that? Which poor man does that? Oh, you see the post so stupid that you pass around with those crazy messages and that you think it will sink? You think they don't see the difference between their lives and you who are just living in one room before you came to power? You think they don't know? There's a free flow show so we we'll talk about. I will rest on you. I will come back to you later. Let me go to another issue. We are in the media, Stephen. The last time when all the media people went to We Are Church, I call your attention to it and we'll talk about it briefly. Even we're going to We Are Church to worship. You know what we are saying about the Nigerian media? He says they lack morals to critique politicians. That's why he told them. They lack morals to critique politicians. You see how the media, because of greed, of some of them, not all of them, have destroyed themselves? You are supposed to be the watchdogs of the society. You are the fourth estate. But look at you go, I think we are making reference to the election they went and how they are trying to find leadership. See the chaos that engulfed that process. That even up to today is not settled. So we are, even with, 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 with the deficit he himself got, got some grounds to tell these people that, but you got no moral yet to call to, to question politicians when you can't even conduct election in one room among yourselves. Then what moral do you stand on to criticize politicians, to critique politicians? And not much as I disagree with him on a lot of things, because he's a bad leader. I agree with him on that one, Stephen. I clearly agree with him. MPP. When you know party went to Banga to have their convention, this guy who was trying to be youth leader who was over age, and he got disqualified because he was over age, the Liberian media ran with placards being held by a handful of that boss supporter on grounds that he was trying to talk against his disqualification and say chaos as erupted at the United Party Convention. That the United Party cannot even conduct itself. They are even to carry a simple election. Look at what happened at the MPP headquarters. 
All the same papers are running with a UP story, see whether they've said anything about it. A whole vice president, she came and disrupted a whole proceeding just for the purpose of title. This woman say until they call her Madam Stena Berra, nothing will happen. And she and her people disrupted as, as Bani stood firm to say, you call Stanley Parkling chairman. Until you denounce Stanley Parkling as chairman, I cannot call you Stanley Berra. If you're not pleased with the biggest title of vice president of the Republic of Liberia, and I still have better tattoo you want, you're not getting it. And there's one more. There's other one more fighting for tattoo to the extent that that whole convention got disrupted. Just to be called standard bearer. Hey, Amen. Okay, you chief data. Something I mean, you call yourself, you say you chief, you this, you that. You still fighting for standard bearer tattoo? In a message, your constitution says you can be standard bearer for only two terms. Oh, you don't believe in law? Why you still want to be standard bearer even though you're two times finished? You are? She's a living example of anarchy. Because you know now, first time, when they had the convention where she said she let us stand up back clean, she went there again and caused chaos and anarchy. This was a repeat of the same chaos and anarchy. She's not a disciple, if not an agent of anarchy and violence and sadly somebody in that kind of category sits over our country as a vice president isn't that sad are there not re are these are reasons why i think like is so cursed and we are experiencing all the things we are experiencing and then finally i know a lot of other things will come out and i think we'll talk about that later we'll talk about the government nonsense about we are, I mean, about Waka and they wanting to help. I know we'll come to that, Stephen, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, we'll come to that. so if we come to that, I don't want to jump the guns with that. So I will leave it. But the final thing I would just like to talk about, I saw some long list of trash written by the Ministry of Information that they refer to as achievements of the CDC government. I encourage librarian to read that because they just expose themselves. When you read, when you read that long thing, I think four, five, six pages that they put that they call achievement, then you get convinced that this government has failed so massively because their definition, the things they listed, if you just look at some of them, and maybe along the show, we'll point out some of them, they, they broke it down, security sector, have this, that. This guy got nothing to count on as achievement. Nothing. Zero. Increase the strength of the AFL. That achievement. I know how they did that. Because when we were there, because we didn't want the AFL to go back to what do they made it to be, an established process guided by our international partners was established as far as recruiting point in the AFL is concerned. And when our process is unfolding, you see it. When we, when the AFL was, was, was being established, if you pass around the BDC at that time, Stevie, you always see long line beginning from outside the fence of Liberians who are trying to be enlisted. We have seen nothing of sort, except the CDC is telling us that a way from that agreed procedure and principles meant to have integrity with the AFL, except the thing that they have compromised it and they're sneaking people in the AFL in a secret way. But I don't know how somebody say increasing the size of the area is an achievement. I, I don't get it. They say they're providing vehicle for police, that achievement. They let's say that. You must say know that police station, the police police can be turned out for the different depot. They can't even respond to crime because they didn't get they didn't get car, they didn't get fuel, they didn't get flag there. I don't think that you call it anyway, we talk more. All up here, more into here. Welcome, Senator Dillon. Let me hold it there. Senator Tony issue. Thank you yeah, for giving. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Senator. Um, it's good to have you join us. Um, uh, Ali, let's go to you. Then Senator will close our training issue. Then we'll move to the other free start discussion. You're muted.
Ali, go ahead. Yeah, um, Stephen, are you getting me? For me, my internet going back to always tonight. Anyway, there are two things quickly I wanted to talk about, and um, one is this issue of Western cluster, and I like to say it's something that I want to talk about consistently because I am from Western Liberia. Um, when the Western cluster deal was was passed. There were certain benchmarks that the company should have met before they start to operate. I remember very well when the idea about transport. You getting me? Oh, we hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. We hear no. you. Go ahead. We hear you. Go ahead. Ali, we hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Hey, Ali. Ali, not call the situation been here again. Yeah, what happened to the internet? To, to, uh, today. Oh, anyway, but. um. The man is not that so super of late. What is happening? Yeah. Uh, once he comes back, we'll... Senator, welcome. And, 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 and you join us at, at the time when we're on. Uh, trending issue. So, um, before we move to the uh, general conversation, what's what's trending from your end? I think Miami get into another problem today. Because Senator, say, can, you, can you hear us? Thank you, thank you. Um, I hope I'm not like more Ali. Am I clear? Yeah, kind of. Are you, you guys better. hearing me? You're good. We're hearing you. Go ahead. Are you guys hearing me? I hope yeah. I'm good. Go ahead. We're hearing you. I'm good? Thank you. Thank you. Let me say good evening uh, to everybody in Liberia. A good day wherever you are on the social media. Uh, I'm seeing that people... Um, expressing concern about uh, bourgeois radio. The station is off. So please, we have seen the announcement. You know, radio stations too, they got technical issues they experience when they least expect. So it is a situation beyond our control tonight. So bourgeois radio is off. I know that Prima FM is on once I see Michael here and Radio Dubai in Pekana is on and other radio stations, including in Lofa, Voice of Lofa. So please bear with us with our radio bourgeois. So you have stopped commenting on the, in the comment session over and again, we've seen it. Our bourgeois radio is off. We are correcting some technical issues at the station. I want to say thank you for the show. Um, what's training on my mind? Is the excitement that is aiming, God willing, to see Monday for us to return to work. Too much is on my plate. Too much uh, issues of concern to be addressed immediately. Of course, the issue of Western cluster, the, the national budget, the RIA role, the too many killings in the country, or should I say, uh, unanswered mysterious deaths, um, the issue about the election. <laughs> I think I think I think Miami gets some challenges today. Yeah, I think the internet in Morovia is uh is is coming a little 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 challenging uh today. So the way to put we in in uh Paul County you know each other better in I am more real we are. Okay, we got Senator coming back. Okay, actually, better now. Go clear up. Well, it looks it look, it look settled and very clear. So I think look, you look better now. Who, me? Yeah, yeah you better now. Okay. You're you clear now. 
Stephen. Oh, okay, good. So as Senator, I was saying, there are so many thing things on our plate. I'm excited that money is just more than so is it, it, No, man. Is the orange network that is giving problem tonight? More than boy in situation. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you know the day I talk about your own way, it will not be easy. <laughs> now, sir, it's the orange network that's giving problem tonight. I just spoke with somebody from there. Oh, so I'm, so, I'm so using you, orange. So you switch to you switch yeah. to Or the French people call orange. it orange. Okay. So yeah, Senator, go ahead. Then <laughs> Ali will go after you. So as I was saying, uh, I'm a. You see, so as I was saying, I'm excited. I'm excited about going back to work. I think that, that the thing Ali talked about orange internet that was affecting him. So let Ali go ahead, send the man out. Yeah, Ali, Ali go ahead. Go I think the, the orange internet is what affecting him. Yeah, they, they got problem tonight. So, you know, I was talking about this Western cluster deal. It was signed, and before, as part of the agreement, before they can begin, they needed to have met certain benchmark. And I know when when the idea of transporting iron ore by trucks was introduced, the very CDC kicked against it in this place. Now, some kind of way, they've went they've gone all behind the place they transporting iron ore by truck beginning it every night i have a video of, of a pile of iron ore in bomi just there ready to be transported by truck and once that continued they will never think about building a, a railroad it's going to cause health hazard for the people they dust everywhere it's going to consistently damage the road because those are real heavy duty you know, Euclid trucks that transporting iron ore. The other one, you know, I listened to Senator John Balu dividing position here and there, all over the place in a press statement. Joseph Walker, Standard Bureau, Cummings, Vice Standard Bureau, Yombly, President Pro Tem, the other party, the other position. I don't understand how people can just sit and have press conference and they'll be dividing job all over the place. You saw this idea to people, you inform people, you say, oh, this is it. I remember on my way to Lofa, he called me, he said, you know, I want us to do this. Thing. I said, okay, table A, let's come, we have a discussion. Let's look if it can work. But the first thing I told him, I said, look, to even conceive this idea, you first need to tell Mr. Comis, to go and apologize to Nyombli and the Liberty Party for what happened there. Basically, he is the cause. If you can reconcile between Mr. Comis and the Liberty Party, then maybe you will get somewhere. He said, okay, when you come back, we'll talk. The next time, yesterday I hear press conference, dividing position. It doesn't work like that. People ain't just there sitting, oh, you bring Cummings and Joseph Baca, they will win one round. The time people have taste for that for that ticket, it gone. That ticket doesn't have any salt in there. You ain't get no sugar in there. There's no taste. It's sour now. Nobody wanted that. Me and I want it. So they think your parents, your parents say, oh, if you're in poor, Joseph Baca and come on the ticket, opposition will not win. Who told you? When we were there at CPP, when they conduct opinion pool, the same vote we used to get, when they conduct opinion pool, we still get in there. Who told you? You had a golden opportunity. You missed you said. You say you came to be number one. Now people are going all over the place. Oh, you know, you put the two people together. I saw somebody this evening. Let's let put the two of them in the room, lucky like for one month, this and that. And then he put them there for one year, said they're not coming also as a team. We will collaborate. We will need to collaborate on other issues, voter registration, voter education, pool washing, this and that. We fought for that CPP. It can pin my heart 
this man and myself, after all the backroom talks about CPP, Senator Dillon and I jump started the CPP. You think we're happy today to see CPP falling apart? We're not happy. But we have to move on. So that thing where you go sit down, you pass, so you, you call generally then, you do press conference and they carry it all over the place. You'll be spending the money on press conference instead of spending that money to deal with government was stealing every day. They're doing some booger, western cluster team, carrying iron all, all over the play. They catch going, y'all go back journalists and so they can't talk about it. That one we have for. Senator, go ahead. Senator, you can hear us? Senator Delon, can you hear us? I think Senator need to change that he change to So you see when up. the internet is giving problem to even unmute yourself can be difficult. Senator Delon, can you hear us? I think it's, it's delayed. Hey, not even paying attention. <laughs> Part of it is that you got to forget about our earpiece. I don't know why I let you use earpiece on this show. Just sit down and put your, your phone on. It will hear you. Move that earpiece, then you will hear you. Send it on. Move that thing. I don't think you can hear. That's why I say you got to unplug that whole cell phone from your ear and just, just listen to whatever that phone or laptop. You muted. You are muted, 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 muted. We can hear you. Hopefully, we can get we can get that sorted out. I think you haven't challenged the, the internet. And Ali said it. Ali said the. The uh, second network is not working today. Ali, you had to switch to Lone Star, right? No, no, Ali still using Cellcom. I restarted. I restarted the modem, but the signal is very low. Oh, okay. Yeah, something that right today. But guys, I mean, you know, uh, uh, um, we 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 having difficulty there getting um, Senator Dillon. Hopefully, he can he can rejoin us and 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 and. and and we can pick up but let's let's move to the to the um to, to the conversation you know today we're having general conversation and and i'll just bring the issue up and then we can we can all just talk about it um there has been this um news filtering around um uh first it started off as a mad gossip everybody thought it was just a gossip uh, that the president was speaking to to low level to low level uh individuals very low level individuals and trying to discuss the um the health situation of um of ambassador Baca. uh and while we thought that this was just a mere gossip we see that the senator are you there now you can hear me now yes it's way better now way better so Jack, go ahead before we move to I the next. So, so Jack, go ahead. I thought Pastor Moore was praying against my international again. <laughs> but again, like I said, uh, I'm excited that uh, Monday will be resuming work. Um, I don't know about others, but we won't break too long. It can dampen my spirit. Everything that's happening in the country, when you speak to it. They say, but you send it to do something. We can't do anything unless we are in session to bring it to the full body. And then you can, uh, you have the full body to, to take the decision. The implementation, of course, is yet another issue that we have. But at least doing session. So I'm excited that we are coming back to session. And if, as, 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 as I started off, if people were not hearing me, Radio Bourgeois is off. There's technical issue at Radio Bourgeois that we're trying to resolve. But uh, Premium FM is on. I see Michael here, Michelle here, 
Dukba is on in Grand Balsa County. Voice of uh, Lofa is on in in Lofa County. And um, other stations that Stephen Johnson has the list of. We want to say thank you for tuning into the class. I have a statement to make tonight uh, regarding the the rubbish coming from the Ministry of Information, the government of Liberia, through the Ministry of Information. And when that time comes, I will speak to it. But I'm excited. A lot of things on my plate. The issue about the budget, the issue about, the, I mean, the 2023 budget, the issue about Western Cluster, RRI Road, the mysterious uh, killings or deaths in the country or answered deaths in the country, and, and a whole lot, $11 million um, budgeted and, uh, and made available for res subsidy and still no hay, no tail. The president traveled out of here for close to 50 days. I wrote the Liberian Senate uh, just because it was a week to our closure. They were all gonna think about that communication. I'm gonna bring it forward. We need answers as to where President Weir was for nearly 48 to 50 days. We need to know officially, and we need to know who funded his trip, what was spent on the trip, and officially what the country benefited from. And all of this stuff, I'm going to, to ensure that these things are brought back on the floor at the Senate. And we are excited that we are returning to session. Uh, training issue? No, I will allow you guys to flow. Okay, good, thank you. So now we transition into the, to the, to the conversation. Today we try to keep it more, more relaxed and- uh, more, Am I going uh, blank again? Thank you. Somebody making a phone call. I think it's Ali or somebody. Ali, your boy has said. You know, all kind of situation. You live and you're making phone calls. <laughs> Divine Johnson, they, they say Bushra Radio. They say the station, they say Bushra, they say Bushra is now on. So I was calling somebody else to find yeah, out. Yeah, but we are a senator announcing here that the station having technical issue and that uh, they're working on it. So we've said that over over. Oh, okay. The station has technical issue. It's not on at the moment they're working. I think the, the, the reason why people complaining is because that's the only station that people can use to follow the show in Monrovia and Monsurai. Yeah. There's a problem. A problem. Yeah. Well, 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 well I know. And the, and the data issue here is a challenge. So, guys, let's move now to the to the conversation. The 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 um we you know we yesterday um yesterday um uh I, I i got a call i got some calls yesterday um especially in the evening hours that uh, uh there was people on on on, on certain show making speculations and one of the things the person told me was that uh the, the one of the individual had said that uh, they received a phone call from the president of the republic of liberia and on first instant my question my first instinct was why would the president, in fact, in the first instance, be having conversation with, 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 with people, with low-level individuals? It only speaks to the extent to which the presidency has been reduced. And when we talk about the presidency, we're not looking at we are. We're looking at the office. When growing up, we saw the presidency as a powerful place, as a place where the the level of national awareness and conversation was was something everybody will, will will pay attention to when the president was about to speak the national anthem being played everybody was in attention people wanted to hear nowadays first we're not we're not used to hearing the president speak on any national issue so we are not surprised i can't tell when lies i heard the uh the national anthem play for the president to speak i can't tell when last in the last six years um, and also, all of the time the president spoke was either through a uh, uh, voice message left for the country while traveling or gossips. And so this gossip, while we thought it was just a gossip, 
metamorphosed overnight. And this afternoon we saw we saw a press release issued by Ledger Road, signed by Ledger Road that he's worried that JMB is now well and they, they want the offer to help. I mean, very bogus. I, I, um, when I read it for the first thing, one of the first things I said was that Ledger was a punk. And the reason I say he was a punk is that here's a guy who just the other day were crying for, 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 for money to run his office. Is now affixing a signature to one book or press release and talking about they have money to give somebody. Who told you who said they need money to go anywhere? But I don't want to go into the nitty gritty of all of this. I know my panelists here will, will deal with this sufficiently. But this is the this is the backdrop upon which this thing has happened. And I will begin the conversation with uh with Ali, Pastor Mo, or or, or Pia, and then Delon. Then uh, I don't know, yeah, Jupal will. Will join us later. So, uh, 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 Ali, Pastor Mo, Pia, Senator, and then, and then, uh, yeah. Thank you, Stephen. You know, uh, <clears throat> I read the release today, and several things came to my mind. But I wrote an immediate response on some of the things that came to my mind. Um, the government when we are challenged in this country, when things are going here to scatter, when we have no understanding about the result from the, uh, the just ended enumeration that was done by Lizges, the census. There are people complaining all over this place that they sat home for days and they never got counted. But meanwhile, they will come up with a census result, census numbers all over the place. I have not heard the information minister one day to talk about that. When in this country now, every day they find a day body somewhere, it's a serious, very serious security problem that even broad day you're standing in the street and people are robbing you and police people will be standing that they can't do anything. But as a matter of fact, even the police are under threat today. Something strange happened. This afternoon, I was at Orange. I want to get the SIM card for my daughter. And right in front of GT Bank on Titan Street, police and police officer, ERU, were being stoned by Zogo. And that guy had to restrain himself not to respond to them. They're taking rack, talking the policemen. So go now, people who they're robbing people, they're stealing every day in the street. Ledger who Rennie does not speak about any of these things. Ledger who Rennie cannot even come out to tell the Liberian people what the whole Western cluster transporting iron ore by truck is about. Ledger who Rennie cannot tell us what has happened to 6,000 teachers that were supposed to come from Nigeria. Ledger who Rennie has no clue what has happened to the issue of the coastal highway. Ledger who Rennie cannot tell the Liberian people what is happening with the train city in Bali. But he may will come out here very quick to re relief. Joe Baka. Who told you Joe Baka won your, your money or government money? Who told you say Joe Baka looking for money to go to hospital on your account? The day Joe Baka said and he want money to go to hospital, will say that Raya will raise money, will send him to hospital. He doesn't need your money. The standard bearer of the United Party went to the hospital as a precaution because doctors wanted him to rest. Maybe many of you don't know this. Because if he is home, he doesn't have time to rest. People in and out, in and out, in and out. Doctors say go to the hospital. So there, we'll be able to control it. We'll stop people from coming. And people will not troop in. Then you go, you read one release. It's the same nonsense they did the other time. 
But Joseph Baga told Edwin Snow, say, the man threatened him. He didn't ask President Weah for money. President Weah did something as a good way gesture towards his mother-in-law or, 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 or funeral. The next thing, John Moore in Golden on radio. The time he died, 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 so that the news down the one made the moral the one made now the united party standard bearer said the government flew in out somebody called me and say you know the president offered to fly the old man out i say i catch him taking that offer that day that will finish with whole president thing will pull him one side up so this thing, Ledger who really needs to start thinking about better things to talk about. Let him start clarifying the one million lies that Liberia, uh, uh, Joshua has told the Liberian people. Soon they told what they went and brought Ibo, Ibo map Eton. They come and bring $1.5 billion to build Coastal Highway. He went, he, he, he borrowed Jeff from Bukungo, from Burkina Faso. He said he may gain the jet plane to make a Murati. You president of a country, you see, they can't be a moratic. So it tells you how less basic these people are. Let me end up on this note. They men, people working in a ministry, they protesting day and night, they making $40 that they can't get. The only thing Ledger who ran out to say about it was to instruct. What are other old guy name over there in saying assistant minister? <laughs> I know a name, but I forgot it. Jura, Jura, Jura Sano. Jura Sano. Yeah, Jura Sano. <laughs> that other old one sitting like over there in saying assistant minister, Ledger who instructed him to re release, banning the people from protesting, threatening them from assembly. Like, only thing you have to tell the people, you will not gather here. Then you got trouble. They know Joseph Baga say that you mean say they want to carry him to, 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 to hospital. That one woman say Joseph Baga, even if he in we barrow, he let him say Joseph Baga better than very well energetic Josh. We are thank you, thank you. And you know, uh, let me come to you, Pastor Mo. Then we'll go to you know, uh, we are has a pattern here, and and you are pastor. There is a Bible verse that say woe unto a nation whose whose leader is a is a kid that nation is cursed in biblical teaching i'm not a, a biblical scholar or a student of the bible but i i know that there's a particular passage that talks about how a nation who, who ruler is a kid that nation is cursed and we are is a big kid and and, and and people who know we are who hang out with him will tell you this in fact i remember in 2005 when 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 Diba when James Diba did not endorse Weir, Weir went publicly on radio and was talking about how he used to get Diba close to where up. Now here is a guy who grew up laying down. You George Weir grew up laying down in the living room of other people. When I used to see Weir in the 80s on Kim Johnson Road, he would be standing near the fence to go see Archie Bob Bernard. We are stranded. We are many days they were looking for copy for Archie Bernard there on Kim Johnson Road when they when they got you practicing with I. So if everybody were going around talking for how much could not you saw the same thing Ali spoke about when when when, when he gave two thousand dollars to Edwin Snow to carry to 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 when JMB mother in law died and the next day he was on the radio talking about how he gave you know Joseph Baga money when he mother in law died. This is a big kid we have here as a president. He understands nothing. He's completely ignorant. He goes and take a phone and call low-level people and gossip about people talk lies. How how did we end up with this with this mess? That's the move. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Bible says, "Woe unto a nation who leader or king is a child. It's a curse." Whenever you come in the Bible, you come across a word in the Bible and say wo, W-O-E, it's a curse. Read what follow after it. And our nation is cursed because of the leadership we have today in Liberia. And, and uh, uh, for the government to, to have a press statement or to write something out, oh, we, we want to do this for you and, and blah, blah, blah. 
I think we have a lot of irresponsible people that is leading Liberia, that is running Liberia. These people who are legally corrupt and they have extended into high, high positions. And we see how our nation being governed. We see how the people carry themselves. There is no serious government. But JMB is not that sick that he need to be flown out. And if indeed JMB needed to be flown out, who told you he don't have the capacity to fly himself out? Who told you so? You see, only because uh, uh, he left power, he don't want to live a lavish lifestyle. So you think that you can come and say, okay, uh, we want to we want to fly him out for medical attention. I think our nation have more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's the scripture. I think our nation have more things to focus on. And if you want to use JMD illness as a political uh, a score point to to stand in the public for you to be able to win an election, I say this to you. Every evil agenda over Liberia for this election will never stand. Because what I tell people when it comes to election in the nation, they tell you, say, oh, 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 pastors will be neutral, right? No pastor can be neutral because even the God that we serve is not neutral when it comes to leadership in a nation. The, the Bible that we all read, the Bible tells us this. When an ungodly man lead or rule a nation, the people move. The people move. And today, what is happening in Liberia? There is a lot of death going on in Liberia. There is a lot of mourning going on in Liberia. And those deaths are uncountable, and nobody being arrested. And the Bible also tells us, when the righteous man rule the nation, the people rejoice. So we will not sit down as a group of Liberians and we settle for 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 the devil agenda in our nation we will not and jmb will be well jmb will run to towards the election he will go towards the campaign and he will win this election i'm of the conviction because where the librarians are the mind is made up all they waiting for, for on october 10 for them to go to the ballot and get george we are out because George Weah is a curse. George Weah has become a liability on our nation, like what our honorable senator said. What can a president lead a nation for, for pretty close to 50 days? And the people in the nation don't know exactly your word about. How did you go there? Who sponsored your trip? How you got this money? These are serious issues. These are serious issues. But I say this to us Liberians. JMB as well. We are in our corner. We are praying for the agenda of God to stand for our nation. And the agenda of God will stand for our nation. And I tell you all this. You know, God can plan something for you. It can be delayed, but it can be denied. No matter what it is. And, and this 2023 is the year for the manifestation of God's plans for our nation. And no, no level of demonic forces or, or, or demonic agenda can stop God's plans for Liberia. This year is our year. This year is a decisive year. And I tell you all this, let them run with any agenda. JMB is safe. We want to fly up. Let them run. If JMB wants to fly up, JMB is capable. He have fear. He have friends who can who, who, who can even do it. We're all coming to tell you, say, I send him up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Mo. Pia, let go to you next, Senator Will. Would, would deliver his, uh, his message. So, um, yesterday, I follow a guy from Sierra Leone, a, a guy from Freetown, Sierra Leone, who did not go to Liberia in the last 30 to 35 years to one network that he sits on day in day or trash talking JMB and the United Party until the head of that network talking to Liberia. That was his first visit to Liberia in 
30 to 35 years. And why it is established that it's a Sierra Leone, it's for Sierra Leone, it's a free time boy. He says he's a Liberian, but meanwhile, for the last 30 to 35 years, he's got nothing to do with Liberia. So I'm told it is that fellow who sat on one media outlet and said that he was caught by the president of the Republic of Liberia. To inform him to the effect that JMB's representatives have reached out to him, the president, and his government to help him fly out of the country for medical treatment, but asking them to do it quietly and unannounced to the public that uh, the government is sending abroad for treatment. His colleagues on that platform asked him, did you say the president of the Republic tell you this? He said, yes. He went further to add that not just the president, but that the Minister of Finance confirmed to him that that kind of conversation took place. When I heard that first thing, uh, Bo Ali, and you know that part of the couple of years I had in my governmental experience, I spent six of those years at the executive mansion as President Selly's press secretary. So I know the value of that office. I know what that office comes with. I know how the conduct of a person who sits in that office should be. Ledger who ran that you're just talking to, and the senator said he will speak to that, who just issued something he calls a press release. Is there, as a spokesman of the government, Asuro Kebbe, a long-time sports reporter, non-presidential spokesperson who does not speak presidentially, who doesn't say anything, is also there. My friend and brother Smith Toby, he was a venerated talk show host, smart man on the talk show business, he's deputy press secretary, he's there. That guy was telling us that the president left all these people with communication responsibility to him in the country. And like you said, call a low-level guy from Freetown who sits on one show and talk loosely and told the guy, go and say, we won't have Joseph Waga to go for a treatment, but Joseph Waga said it will be secret. And we said, no, it, it got to be public. And when they ask you, say, yes, I, the president, I told you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, does that resemble the conduct of a president? And even on that outlet, that the only uh, dog press singing to the president, I listened to all the panelists with the exception of the ball from Freetown. All the panelists on that show, the way they spoke to, the way they spoke about the president yesterday, strange, they've never done it before. Whether it was whoever there, I heard them call the, call the president's action challenge, I heard them call the action stupid. I heard them call the action footage. I heard them call the action irresponsible. All of them who were panelists on that show made those descriptions. Maybe there's just one thing that they left out. We all want to repeat all the descriptions they gave it. I think that what took place reached the level of insanity. Oh, what a minute. Our people, we know boom, but they will not know what they call insanity. What took place has reached the level of craziness. Because for a president of a whole country to call somebody who does not speak for government, a surrogate, a low level individual, a person whose connection to Liberia by citizenship is on a question, to say, go on your show and say, we reach out to JMB to help him, but JMB said, we'll do it quietly. Now, if I expected a press release from the Ministry of Information, I expected a press release that will save the president's image to say what that foreigner said on that show is not true. He lied on the president. But the press release for the Ministry of Information confirms that what that low-level foreign national said on that show is true. And that the president really conducted himself in that way. 
if that does not say to you myself that craziness or insanity has reached the doorsteps of the executive mansion, then I don't know why it is. Then I don't know why it is, Stevie. So you saw Legend who crying the other day and say his repetition has been bruised and bras and bros and all kind of things he was saying. I think that press release even helped to bruise his repetition the more. This president does not respect you. He doesn't care. He does not see you as a means of information. He got no respect for his press secretary and his deputies. So he runs to a low level foreign guy who sits on a show and talks trash and says, Go announce there. And when they ask you, say, I told you. And then Samuel Tua confirms. And you see what going there, ugly? This man was just on Rofa Road with his family. Nearly died. And we all were in sympathy with him. That's part of this agreement we have with Tua on the way they're running the country. He's a friend. We all were at the university. I was particularly concerned because I have a special relationship with Brother Norris Tua. And through Norris, I was reaching out to this guy, concerned about his well being, praying for the recovery of him and his family. He comes back home after God saved him. What does he intend to do? John President we are to play fun of Joseph Walker. Oh, it means that they, they, this God of second chance who gave Tua and his wife a second chance, Tua does not appreciate that second turn. Joseph Walker, are you talking about that? Say, you been you are only in the hospital for I think three or two days. You were your web ladder in that hospital in Turkey for weeks. Nobody play politics with you. We pray for your recovery. We pray for your well-being. Okay, you, you, you say you won't get yourself work out money. Now, why you say? Why you didn't take that same money to give it to your driver and the other man in the car who you all had an accident together, who you abandoned here when you went to Turkey? I was at the mansion of press secretary. One of the camera guys, they called uh, uh, Gabriel Mills. He works with me. When the president was coming from Banga, you everybody remember that trip and they had an accident where executive horn died. This boy, Gabriel Mill, got disabled forever. They abandoned you somewhere in Africa forever. He became useless. He came back to Liberia, he's still not himself. You get you have to take send people to hospital. These are people who, 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 who experience what they experience on official detail. You are back. The man who talked to her to, 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 to Lofa, was he not working? Didn't the accident happy while he was on duty? What did you do for him? You abandoned him while you talked to her and his wife to, to Turkey. And you make him flow, show, writing, trust all over the place that you want to help JMB. The JMB asked him for help. How come the president has brought insanity to the doorstep of the executive mansion? Because only an insane person will sit in that seat and call a low-level fool sitting on one talk show to say, communicate this as a presidential communication and when as you say, I told you. What is this, my people? What is this? And the fact that in 24 hours, the executive mansion have not disagreed. They have issued no disclaimer to what a fool said on that station. That the Ministry of Information brought a press statement and issued no disclaimer of what the guy said on the statement. It's an affirmation or confirmation from the government that indeed what our fellow said on that show is true. And because it is true, something has to happen. We are. You're concerned about people being sick. The prophet living right in your in the town where Prophet Kinsley. Prophet Kinsley said you will not take the country to election. He said you have a critical medical issue on the right side of your stomach. And you're not able to govern the country. And he sees a woman taking the country to the election. I'm not surprised to hear that because your, your deputy is vice president. So if you become incapacitated, and the vice president will take over, she's a woman. Oh, you didn't hear that prophecy? What are you doing about it? Worry about your own prophecy. That is saying you will not even be capable of controlling, of leading the country and not think about JMB. Jamie, let me ask you, for the day you be, you, you behave like a boy. 
on two thousand naira you send for JMB Malay law funeral. Who got to take money from you? Even if it's a country money, who got to take it from you? When Tua went to Turkey, what what we saw in a press video about the money you spent to send him there? What nonsense is this? And that fellow who sits in that place and continue to trash talk that's left after every regime. We are will leave office. You will stay hard left to live. But maybe good for you. You don't care about library. You've never been to library before. No, you can go in Tesla. That we are town that made your, your CEO to carry you there. Yeah. So when we are leaves, the scene is no behind library is the scene. So maybe like, why are you thinking on? But you can still be here and face consequences for the things you do today. Exactly. Arrest. Thank you. Senator, let's uh thank you, Pia. Thank you, uh Pastor Mo and Ali. Senator, I hope your internet is good. Um let's hear your statement. Um what what is what is what is your your take on this whole issue? Well, thank you. Um I'm hope that I'm hoping I'm okay now. Yeah, you way better. Okay, good. I like to state clearly, I do not speak for the Boaca family. The allegation made on Spoon last night made accusatory statement to the Boaca family to the effect that the government was in touch with the Boaca family, family members. Except we want to say political family members are also included, but I take it to be immediate family, blood family members, were close or distant relations, family members. I will call on the Boaca family to speak to this issue. Two. The statement issued by the Unity Party informing the public about Joseph Boaca checking in the hospital. The concluding statement in that press statement was on call for. The Unity Party started to politicize Boaca's health issue. When it stated in that statement, that Boaca is using hospitals in Liberia on like public official under the CDC government that goes out of the country. That was a political statement, completely unnecessary, completely uncalled for. I don't think, I hope the unity party has learned when to separate politics from personal health issues or anything that is just don't mix the politics. You fed the government with all the nonsense, with that statement. It is wrong. Don't do it again, please. The statement coming out of the Ministry of Information today, it is even worse. It is childish. It is provocative. It is political. And it only says the immaturity of the regime. It only says the immaturity of the regime. Let me say this. You see the 2003 law that the very government and some people in opposition were pinning on Dillon. You remember that retirement law, gentlemen? The retirement law of 2003, which is the, the law of the land because it was upheld by the Supreme Court of Liberia about seven years, there about seven years back. It was upheld by the Supreme Court of Liberia. That means it is the law of the land until it is amended or repealed. And it was, they amended, we were trying to amend it to make sense of it when they blew it up, took my signature page of a committee report and attached it to this existing law to say Dylan John, the people to sign retirement law a weekend. But 
This law, 2003 law, it is the law of the land. It says a former vice president of Liberia, a former vice president of Liberia who has retired, like Joseph Buaka, who is not gainfully employed by the government of Liberia after the retirement from that office, is entitled to 50% of what the current vice president makes. Whatever the amount is that the current vice president makes, the former retired vice president who was not impeached from office, who was not removed from office for any um, misconduct, is entitled. This government says the retirement of Joseph Buaka and Ellen Johnson Salif, I won't speak for Ellen Johnson Salif because I don't know what they're dealing with her. This administration, this regime, has paid to Joseph Buaka every month in retirement for the 3,500 Liberian dollars. And, and uh, 2,000, I mean, 800, 894 US dollars. If you put the current rate of 43,000 Liberian dollars, is about 350. If you add it up to the 800, it's about 1,003, 1,100 ever. The current vice president makes pretty close to 12,000 in gross. I may be wrong. If you take out the net, if you take out the taxes and everything, the current vice president makes around nine to 10,000 in net, not gross. But this law, Joseph Buaka is entitled to 50% of that amount. But this government has paid him $800 every month in allowances and for the 3,000 Liberian dollars, which runs contrary to the law. If George Weir, if he realizes in the last four or five months, I don't bother myself about George Weir because I told you guys that George Weir told me by his action, we shouldn't put him back in that office. So I don't bother, I don't waste my time with, you notice I don't waste my time about George Weir any longer. When we start the Weir official campaign, we'll make the case. This government has failed to honor the law and to come to politicize the health issue of another person in the name of politics. It's childish, it's wrong, and it, it should stop. This law, retirement law, and this issue about Joseph Buaka and all those who are entitled to retirement package by law, the retirement law will be brought back on the floor when we return next week, beginning next week. But I want to say, the government wanted to achieve one thing, and the government seemed to be achieving it by the adverse. The government wants to divert attention and focus from Western cluster. The government wants, the government knows that the country is so politically polarized. It knows that when it says something or does something stupid in the political realm, we will forget about Western cluster for a while. We will not talk about the mysterious depths of our citizens across the country. We'll be talking the political issues. Uh, uh, the government knows that when it talks about Joseph Buaka in the manner that it did, we will forget about the gun, who imported gun in this country and how their plot is to use those gun. You see what they're doing? They're using the gun issue to say they're removing tinted uh, uh, plastic from they cars. Set they set, they set the up checkpoints because it's all part of the grand scheme of things for 2023. We gotta be smart about it. 
And if we do not be smart about it and allow George Weah and his gang to divert our focus from the real issue, we will, we will have ourselves to blame. Trash the nonsense that came from the Minister of Information. I'm not going to talk about Ledger Who Running. Ledger Who Running did not put up a statement. He was instructed to do so. He was instructed to do so. And since he must please the pleasure of the president, he had to do so without the God courage to say, I think I want to advise against this. The government wants to get you rowdy. The government wants to get you upset. The government wants to get you emotionally sentimental to take your focus from the real issues. Don't allow them to achieve it. Three Liberian missing. George Weah has said nothing. Liberian children are being raped. George Weah says nothing. Liberians are dying every day, mysteriously found here and there, almost everywhere. George Weah says nothing. The Minister of Information says nothing. But when it comes to the health of the one who they feared so much, because of his grace and blessing. They want to make it a political issue. They want to make it a political issue. And we should not fall for it. Joseph Buaka is a human being. Uh, there's a young fellow, very young, middle-aged, like myself, I think I'm a little older than him, or he's a little older than me, or we are the same age, but we are crowd. Every day he said, Joseph Braga was too old to become president. One day, in his fairly young age like me, stroke caught him. He has not fully recovered. He's either in his early or mid-50s like me. Stroke caught him. Uh, the political leader of PLP, Adam, I don't intend to, to, to disrespect his, his memory, but Daniel Cassell of PLP died at the age of 57, 57. Death knows no age. Sickness, illness knows no age. It knows no trial. It knows no partisanship. It knows no nationality. Joseph Waga is graced. He is feared by the regime. And some people, even in opposition, who don't right. see him as their, <laughs> as their choice. They fear him. What kind of man just sitting in rehab? and the country just prepared to vote him. They fear him. They wish, you know, King killed his brother Abel out of envy and jealousy. It still did not give King the anointing, the blessing, the anointing of Abel. King killed his brother Abel out of envy and jealousy. It still did not give the anointing and blessing and favor and grace that was upon Abel to King. In fact, what it did, it imposed even more, more punishment in the wrath of God upon King for doing that. If Joseph Waka is destined to be president, no amount of wishful thinking will stop it. If Joseph Waka is destined to be president, no amount of politics, smear campaign, wishful thinking, honor mining can stop it. You see, thank God the revenue is here. Nobody becomes leader of a country, head of a country, without the allowance of God. God does it for one of two reasons. Either to bless the people in the country or to punish them. God 
gave us job we are to teach of good lesson. The job we are being president was like a ring of dark cloud hovering over the country. And the weather is so dark and everybody is expecting that it will rain. So everybody just walking around with umbrella or raincoat, anticipating the rain to fall at any time. And the rain can fall. You can put the umbrella down, you can take out your raincoat or you hold it in your hand just in case when it starts to rain. The rain has fallen, John Ray has finally become president. Now it's time for us to see clearly, to put the umbrella down, to put the ring gear down, to determine what to do with ourselves and the country after the ring that has fallen with George Weah's presidency. And because it is almost glaring and evident that Joseph Boaka can likely become the next president of Liberia, people are doing everything, anything. Joseph Walker is speaking, oh, oh why he's not speaking? Joseph Walker spoke, oh, why he spoke? And, and, you know, um, one time, there is a government propagandist radio station that said that I had traveled to America to do, quote, unquote, jolly, jolly, and abandon the people's senatorial duty. And they said that on Monday, they said I had traveled to America the day before on the Sunday. And on Monday during their talk show, they said Dillon had traveled to America on Jolly Jolly. He abandoned the people's job. The following day was Tuesday. I went to session. I did not, I did not respond to that radio station in voice. My response was to go to session. So since it said I traveled on Sunday and it said it on Monday, Tuesday was in session. That means that was the shortest trip ever made by anybody to leave Liberia on Sunday, go to America on Monday, and be back in Liberia to be in session on Tuesday. Sometimes some of the ways to respond to some of this provocative nonsense is not to speak to it. Relay Joseph action Waga, the let the action do the talking. Joseph Waga will speak to the people from home very soon. So the paper that was suggesting that he got stroke had one of the mild or, <laughs> or wild stroke, they will see him. Those who say he's so, he's so helpless he can't even shake, they will see him. Probably tomorrow or Sunday, yeah. they will see him. You see, one of the best ways to respond to these things is to demonstrate the action. When the people said, I had traveled to America to go do Jolly Jolly, and I left on the plane on Sunday, and I'm in America on Monday, Tuesday, I went to session. And everybody said, oh, but I thought they said, in America. I said, well, I'm in America here yeah, in session. But you see a fire that, <laughs> Exactly. That whole thing died. So let me say this. I am calling on the Buaka family to speak to this issue. Somebody who is close to Buaka or distant from him as a relative, family, the family must speak to this because the government did not say they were speaking to people in UP. The government's release did not say they spoke to the leadership of UP. The government release did not say they spoke to People like me who lean into what Bwaka, the government's uh, a, a statement did not say it spoke to Bwaka tag team. The statement did not say it spoke to Bwaka supporters. The statement said they are in close talk with family members. What of distant or close family members? I am, I am encouraging and advising the Bwaka family to speak out to this issue. And for me, I already know it's politics, it is foolishness, it is nonsense, but I'm gonna stop it right here so that the family will speak before we push ourselves so much and come across as crime more than a belief. They spoke allegedly to the family. I'm encouraging the family to speak to this issue. 
either to confirm it or to already reject and deny it. As I open up on this Boaca issue, I want to caution in the public because it, it is public. I want to caution unity party and all of us who are kind of collaborating together. We're free from the politics on everything. You issue a statement which was proactive because the health of Joseph Boaca of Nomdi Kanga Lawrence, of Benina Uwe, even of Alexander Cummings, the help of even of Darius Dillon, of those of us who are full-line face and politicians in the country, our health matter. And our health will concern the public. And if you will put a statement on the Senator Dillon check in in the hospital in Liberia today due to SYZ, and uh, it is not that serious, and you stop it there. You, Pray for speedy recovery. Finish. But to conclude the statement, but that thank God he checked in a hospital in Liberia, unlike CDC government official that fly out of the country. That was, that was complete wrong. political nonsense. It should be. <coughs> yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, I see Annie Annie Pin says she's watching from uh, the US. Thank you, Annie. But but you know, Pia, I don't know whether you did. Uh guys, if anybody else got anything to say on this issue, um we can go go around the table one more time and then uh we can uh, I want I, I want uh, the senator to 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 commit to us on the show about the the this arm issue so that when they go back to session they can make it a top priority. There has to be a conclusion to this arm issue between now and, 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 and maybe later February because we need to know the truth behind these arms. All of the arms that came into the country, we need to know the truth behind it. We need to find a... They has to come to a logical conclusion. So, Pia, you go faster than Ali, then now... Um, So, so I agree with most of the things the senator said, uh, uh, but not all. Uh, there, there, there can be no uniform way of handling issues. That, that can never be. So yes, when these things happen, there will be some who will have to respond with outburst. There will be some who will not. It's understandable. And for some of the people who even respond with upburst, it cannot go to say their response with upburst on a particular issue will make them to forget about pending or pending national issues. Because, you know, one of the things we got to be mindful of, Stephen, all the problems in the country, especially associated with government that we want to solve, we will not solve them just by the public statements, public utterances, what people say on talk show, what people... That is the reason why people who are in leadership positions have more critical roles to play in hard finding resolution of situations beyond the talking that we all do. So, for example, I'm here. I'm not in a government official, not anybody. I'm contributing to the quota. I mean, I contributed my quota to the political discourse in the country. When situations evolve, I will respond to it the way I deem is necessary, whether it is seen as upburst or not upburst. Meanwhile, there are other people who are in position, positions of authority who can do something beyond just talking. And that's where the focus is. And that's where you will not take the focus away. So for CDC to calculate in their own thinking that we do something and people will start responding to them, therefore it takes the attention away from what will be the, the prevailing issue is a miscalculation. Because as I, as I talk about myself, as I talk about this today, tomorrow I'm on Western Cluster. The next day I'm still on Princess. I come on the show every day, I talk about Princess. I want justice for how that child was taken from Monrovia to be killed and die, and, and that's just it. But bad souls sometimes need bad medicine. And whether you accept it or not, some of these platforms are doing these things. People listen. If nonsense is said, you don't correct it, you don't come against it, with the stronger of force, 
it goes with the impression to many other people that what they say is just true. So there'll be no uniformity in the way people handle this situation. There'll be variance, which is good because we're in a pluralistic democratic society. That's one. Two, I am a Liberian citizen. I don't have to be a sedition. The precedence, like you said, is not about the individual they offer. That precedence represents me. If somebody takes insanity to the doorstep of the precedency and they are not told that what they've done has brought the precedency in the mud, is taking crazy now to the doorstep of the presidency, that person believes they've done nothing that is so stupid and they continue with that same behavior. Tomorrow it will not be a serenium ball. Tomorrow they could talk to somebody else from Guinea to speak on behalf of the president. And once they, like I said, once the executive mansion did not disagree, and Ledger who pressed him and did not disagree, it means that what that African man said, that he was authorized by the president and tried to say what he said, is true. That's media, Stevie. And everybody else on the show, that's it. It means it's true. And if it is true, then we got to tell the president that he got a little bit crazy about doing that. Because only a crazy person will do that kind of stuff. Only a crazy person will disrespect that office of the presidency in that way he's doing. If you don't believe in Legend of Renner, sack them. If you think that that's something that's going to be said to the why you didn't tell Legend of Renner to go say it? Why you didn't tell Sir Kemba your press secretary to go say it? Why should you go to a low rated person whose nationality to the country is questioned? To say something and you tell him, say, when you say it, say, yes, I the president, I the one told you to say it. So when you bring the presidency of my country, a country where I have citizenship to that kind of level, it must be known to you that what you've done fits in this category. Whether you be step by, I want that person agree with him. I want thousand percent agree with him. If our president checks into a hospital, you want to announce it, you announce it. But where are you coming from where you other people who will go out of the country government official, the JMB checking right in? Exactly. The, hospital got their own, the hospitals in Liberia get their own limitation. So you got to believe that if JMB had a very critical issue that the hospital in Liberia could not handle, you go to the hospital in Liberia. The family or do connect will not take him to the hospital that able to address it. So there's no political dividend that I'm not feeling well. Is that a critical thing that I want to seek? The advanced treatment abroad, and I walk into a local hospital. What news should I be making right now to say, unlike other people, I walk into a hospital in Liberia? By the way, that's why we pray for everything to be advanced. When we build our country in the way we should build it, we build the statuses of our health institution that we can trust it, that everybody can trust it, then we all go there. If we are not reached that level and we got illnesses that are beyond the capacity and limit of our local hospital, nothing wrong with going abroad. So if you ask me personally, I didn't have a problem that two and his wife had to be flown away. The only problem I would have with it was how did it happen? Who funded it? That's all. But if they made critical accident on the Lofa Highway, we saw that car. And their lives are on a train, and the only play that, that will have them say was talking, and they have their own resources to go there. Glory be to God. But if you prioritize them with the resources of the country, and you say you have concern about someone who just checked yourself in and you want to politicize it, and you call in one funny man somewhere to say, say our president told you that, that's the way our issues are. And we'll talk about it as such. Arrest. Let other people have their day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before before I go to Ali. Let me say something. You know, um, you, you, the, 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 the CDC is, is losing it. The reason I say that is you've, you've, you've left your entire propaganda or your entire uh, communication strategy in the hands of one low-level man on a talk show. The Ministry of Information don't speak the press secretary, both press secretary and deputy press secretary don't speak. The president don't speak to the nation. Their party chairman who started off first with this whole uh, exuberance, that uh, uh, euphoria about being chairman of the ruling party until his, thick, his leak tape surface and we are kept in the dungeon. He doesn't speak nowadays. 
And so the only outlet, the only outlet through which the government communicates is through a low-level guy on the talk show. It tells you how weak, and here's a guy who has no history of being involved in Liberian politics, no history whatsoever of, of being involved in the in, in having a nuanced understanding about the day-to-day -day activity in the country. The man who has only been to Liberia one week well, in the last really poor analytical capacity, Stephen. You listen exactly. to the man. The man talks like somebody who is out of a high school student. You know, and I want to talk about education. The guy where they talk don't say about saying that they don't say that they don't is far better than some of the people who got double masters. But 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 Pierre, you check out what they were telling you. Exactly. The person you look at when you when you tell you that I want that degree from America. But look at him. Look at his capacity to even analyze issue. But here's the contrast. Here's the contrast. We bring we bring Dupont on the show, Michel Dupont, and and to your surprise, Michel Dupont is in twelfth grade. The kid who is on the show, yeah. yeah. The kid who is on the show with us, he's a twelfth grade student. He comes here. He's well spoken. He's well mannered. He's analytical. He presents his argument in a more nuanced way. He understands the issue. He reports. Like somebody, here's yeah, a kid who is just in 12th grade. So when you see somebody with a, with 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 with, a, with that uh, intellectual depth, that intellectual uh, curiosity, then you say, yeah, the government means business. But yes, yeah, the government who using a surrogate who has no sophistication to be the source of providing information to the Liberian people, the government has lost it. The government is losing it. Losing it. The only other thing left for us is to be able to, in October of this year to replace this government. Because you can see the trend of event. Western cluster. The entire Western cluster is on fire. Uh, Bapolu, Bomi County, Cape Town, on fire. The government running away from that one already. I saw Edwin Snow uh, in private, in, in, in business class, uh, uh, flying, going away, and uh, running away from Western cluster. Then you come to the issue of the arms. The government was trying to tie the arms on the opposition in ways that they thought would have rendered the opposition so desperate that we want power. So because we want power now, we find the alternative means. When the arm issue came up, they started running with AC. Oh, the guy had come into so one program in the States. What did they do? They buckled and capitulated on their original stance, released the girls who were in prison, now they can't say anything about the arm. They got the low-level press man, uh, uh, Moses Carter. Now is the only man talking about the arm. People, people, people associated with them brought the guns in the country and they know exactly. that. That's why, they, that's why they're not talking about it. Arms of that magnitude intended to, to cause, to, 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 to overthrow the government. That Moses Carter will address press. That should be a high-level joint security operation headed by the Minister of Justice the defense minister, the police chief, the NSA boss, and the chief of staff who will speak. Why? Because any external subversion against the government is, is, the, is the responsibility of the armed forces of Liberia to, to as per constitution to repel against all external forces. But you run your way. So you took a group of journalists to fuck a clone on Sunday, play basketball with them after church, and get other than $1,000 each so that they can close the story. So that they can close the story. These are the issues. And then, as Pia said, you come here, bring a list of of paying wire school fee. How can a government boast that in six years part of your achievement is to pay wire fees? Wire fee is just every ninth grade, missing ninth and twelfth graders. You got schools for, for ABC to twelfth grade. If you pay if a ninth and twelfth grader out of school that runs from ABC to twelfth grade, what is left? The majority of the students in the school falls the nine in nine and twelfth grade. Stephen, Stephen, don't, don't waste your time. Look, look, at, look at the other achievement. Proposed to increase the budget of the new LAC to the highest level ever. <laughs> <That achievement. laughs> well, Mwali, yeah, you, you, propose to, you propose to increase the budget of LAC to the highest yeah, level ever. You don't make me laugh. You don't make me laugh. They started tying everything to JMB. They said JMB Minister Minister of National Defense. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and the same people who that government at JMB were in, they said the government scored 80%. Yeah, 85. So we are getting 85. Exactly. 
So why you come out of the same government, you get 85? Then you say you got a tune, they say, JMB UP government. They didn't do that. More than J J more than JMB UP government. More than JMB uh, UP uh, government. Uh, Tomo, Tomo, we, we classify, not classifying like, bro. Joe, we ain't getting no secret. Joe, we have, if you know Joe, we have, by the time he drinks, he see, he you won't see, be the only man to talk. You, you see the achievement and you get sick. They say the construction of the Redemption Hospital, the, the ongoing construction of the Redemption Hospital. <laughs> Who on the platform does not know that the Redemption Hospital that are in Kawe, it was that Ellen Johnson selling that Ellen Johnson, Ellen, the UP government. So the achievement, that, that, that achievement for them, when they say they increase data salary from 700 to 2,000. With doctor, medical data are making 700 during Ellington. With but, medical data. But, 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 the first question I asked them when they talk about data, who trained those data? But they, they, besides training, the information that they provide is not even true. It's not true. But who trained the data? You want claim thing and you do. You do nothing here. So we are six here. You do nothing. The only thing, the only achievement this government, I can, that one I can give it to we are, is that we are able to improve his own life. We are dead. His football team collapsed. His store collapsed. His, he couldn't even afford to pin his house on 9th Street. His house in rehab, the living room. You saw that kitchen they were in when doing the election. You saw Pia, that kitchen they were in second round election when he, he was cooking the dry rice, uh, 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 the kitchen. And then the place they were sitting when they were announcing the the result. They were in a little tight room and they were announcing. You saw that video came out. We are cooking dry rice. That was how the tight we are kitchen was in rehab. When he became president, they broke that nonsense down they to expand it. Lavin is running on, ses on, on, on Seska Pays. These guys are the terrible. The thing is, liquor. Kim Moreva dead broke into liberal politics as a means to revive himself. Mo Ali, do you know of a situation where people can check in at the so-called military hospital for, for, for health care services? Because when you go to when you go to when you when you when you go to Ghana. And the military teaching hospital that is there, people can even come from foreign country to come there for training because it's of class A. Exactly. So I don't know what are people going you to know. Oh, man, like, the, 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 the whole idea. idea. We are, we are a dead broke. The, the only thing that happened for we are, the only best thing that happened for CDC is the fact that their life changed, their personal life changed. Man, like Koji, man, like, like Samuel Twe. Samuel Twe, what? Samuel Twe, what are doing no serial work? When Samuel Twain went to Liberia first, the first job we gave Samuel Twain was to sit down on the to, 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 to rail market to count how many cars were passing on that road because we were thinking Maybe. that we wanted to place a, 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 a toll booth there. We had to sit on that road every day counting cars. Listen to the other achievement. They invested one million dollars in, in Zogos. <laughs> All the people that see the other day they join the street in Morada, I'm okay, poor, whatever. They say, Yeah, I said, so they the Zogos, the Zogos were a stony and armed police officer, and I was standing. And I told Cornelia, I said, Why this police guy loses his temper and begin to shoot no idiots? But you know, one thing the people mistaken, I know they put over there the, the Emirates Hospital in Bapulu. Who built now, hospital in play that get let, let our people really understand true. that there is a difference between a hospital and an ordinary structure standing. The house I live in could become a hospital. Exactly. The house the, the, the equipment. Could become a hospital. What makes hospital the medical equipment, the doctors, the medicine. And all the facilities that there you go construct something, you don't even have trained doctors to go there. Then you pronounce we build a hospital. But what they it. talk, Ali? You know, you know that they, 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 they when they, when they, when they, the Emirates guy, they, you know, they have to go down there with helicopter. Exactly. Now look at the, look at the other achievement. They in, they increase the reporting of rape cases, which is. A, <laughs> We just mistaken for an increase in rape cases. Imagine, Ministry of Information put out that nonsense. Y'all got to, y'all got to put it in the chat. Y'all got to put it in the chat. I mean, on Monday, 
Let briefly hear Jupor perspective on some of the things we said briefly. Yeah, we'll go to that list one by one. Monday will go to yeah, that list. Yeah, I think what we should do on Monday. Let's go. Let, let deal with it. Let, let you who really who say hey, repetition have been bruised that a minister put on the trash that he calls yeah. achievement of the government. And we send an open challenge to Ledger who to come on the class. Let's discuss the government achievement. Oh, anybody who listening and you government sorrow gay, you want to come on Monday, can let's discuss one by one. Oh, yeah, you are too Let me let me add the region to a member worker for fun and let 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 the ministry count the show on on on, on Monday. <laughs> My man, that I won't wait for them when I have to. <laughs> never, never, ever. And you know what? Oh, oh, yeah. They all follow the show. But you know what they usually do? They don't follow the show live. Yeah, they won't put a see them watching. People, yeah. yeah, they don't want people saying, oh, the other person following the show. Yeah? So they wait when the show is finished. Then they go and take an excruciating two, three hours <laughs> to listen to everything. And, and they be... When they in themselves, it's like, you know, and if you call like, it, and if you call it like, like me, show, right? You oh, my man, you're you are sitting on all your show. There are certain I, shows I don't listen to. People will listen and call, oh, boy, you're not listening to the show. You're not going to respond to them. What are you hearing your hair for? Hey, you know, you're going to listen to something that will hear your heart. Don't go there. Don't go there. I don't Anything that will hear your pressure, I don't go listen. Don't go let's see. We got one paper, you know, the former the former head managing director of FDA. So now when he's listening to the show, when he dealing with UP, dealing with Joseph Waka Mafunkin rest, you know that will call. You know he woke back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a, a UP business, you can't play with a more. You listening, you go <laughs> there to try fast as so you can take it. A rapper is a rapper is all you need. I get going, I get going, you know, I get say, you know, call our radio off, lay down and sleep. That's what I think. When we're on the air tomorrow, you will listen. Yeah, man. So, when, when the way we're having the show today, he will not be on our side. So, he will be happy. When we're having the show on our side, he will be of course. And you know, the truth is, for example, these people were talking about rules over there. And by the time you talk, they say, but government is continuity. This government has not initiated a single, single road project. I mean, like real road, right? They've yeah. not initiated a single road project on their own. And I challenge them, I say, show me. Like we initiated the 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 the, the the, the red light to Banga Road, the 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 the, the, the cutting tree to Vikana Road, the Morovia to Ara IA. We initiated the 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 Harper to Fishtown Road, the road from Ganta to Yekepa. Yeah, we did negotiation and source funding for many other the circle, roads. all the community roads, seven the circle, all the community all the roads. roads from from ERWA to Red Light. They sell. They have not, with the exception of that, they could be highway they get in, in do community there, and they order one day mark up Princess Road. There's not a major single highway that they have initiated on their own, and they will pass around. You're talking crap, crap, crap. Jupo, Jupo, let's listen to you. Jupo, let's hear your perspective. Uh, so. I just want to I um, mean appreciate the team tonight. <laughs> you know, I'm just with the background and, and I'm just just smiling. <laughs> so uh, for the investment of this government in the Zobos that I mean was was just flat out. Uh, so for, for, for Martin Sar or I hold I mean the view that I mean that's another reason that even giving rise to I mean Zobos in this country. So you observe that in Bonn County, like I reported the last time, around the Methodist booth, uh, from 7 o'clock moving forward, people usually don't plot out though. Why? Because there is a high rate of Zogos at our place. And, and it will interest you to know that, I mean, on the 29th of October, I was actually going to provide coverage for uh, the closure of the Banga United Methodist School here. 
And of course, there's Tigre. And I got attacked by one of those guys. Hmm. And I reposted on my official page. Oh, yes. I reposted on my official page the last time where he, there was a huge toss of regionals, even though the guy is, is like a young fellow like myself. Uh, but you observe that uh, because, because they, they usually take in hard substances, so they are now paired up in their body, they are tinted, and, and they don't really have much strength. So at least I was able to make away with my practice. But the real truth is, I, I actually sustained some, 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 some injuries that day. So students coming from school around that place, you observe that their phones, their bags, and all the materials usually are smashed away from them. So we, we were able to manage and talk to some of those logos. <laughs> but what they say, I will make you laugh. Some, some of them said they are paying taxes to uh, the, the bomb detachment of the Liberian National Police. <laughs> Just to ask, uh, the fact, that's fast uh, he was not able to even deny nor agree to what, I mean, what was played out. And this is a brief allegation. Those guys are there. And personally, I have witnessed some of those security guys dressed up in their full blacks, going to that place. What, I mean, going there to do what? No one really knows. So I want to believe that even the, the one billion dollar that the government said they are investing in the Zogos as achievements, I want to believe that. I mean, that's another reason I gave him rise to the hard influx of Zogos in our country. It's good that Senator Dillon is back on. So Senator Dillon, so you have been, budget, you have been budgeting and you have spent one million on, on Zogos. And I don't know how many of that one million here. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Can I say that point? Yeah, your center that is catering those Zogos. I don't know how much of the of that money went to your center. They said one million in the CDC government report. They spent one million on Zogo rehabilitation. Yeah, uh, we budgeted. Yeah, we budgeted. You can hear me? Yeah, we hear you. You hearing me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a there's a one million dollar that was budgeted. Under the budget that just expired December 31, 2021, there's $1 million uh, for rehabilitation under the Ministry of Youth and Sports. We're waiting for budget performance report to determine what that money was spent on and how it was spent. I want to make it clear that the rehabilitation center facility that we put together was put together by you, the people, and that I am a senator attached to that rehabilitation center, and that I am a senator that has to do with my authority to pass the budget and to demand performance report. I have made it a conscious position never to take a dime from the government as in subsidy. Because in my view, that will border on conflict of interest. I don't want to be like, and I'm no India, but I don't want to be like any other group of people who run their private schools and their private schools are subsidized under the budget. They run their private clinics and those private clinics are subsidized under the budget and they have authority to pass the budget. I will not do that. Um, it is the People's Rehabilitation Center, and it is the people, especially with our friends in the diaspora, the mothers and the friends of Dillon, they are funding along with the $3,000 that I had earlier committed to the county that I have since 2021 announced, um, they are fighting to, to keep the rehabilitation center going. So yes, there's $1 million that I know about in the budget uh, immediately upon our return. And as chairman on the Senate Committee on Youth and Sports, I have been in touch with the Minister of Youth and Sports, and I will be expecting a budget, budget performance report from the Minister of Youth and Sports that will inform our input on the budget for the Minister of Youth and Sports. And that will also include the expenditure of that $1 million.
what I was budgeted, projected, and what are they receiving, and how it was spent, and on what budget budget performance report will be required. Yes. So this is, so this is my question, uh, having listened to your answer. So the legislature, besides passing laws and all the things you're doing, you have also oversight responsibility. Sure. For, so for example, if you put one million in the budget, you got to really roll it in the in the, the, the achievement report that say they invested one million dollar in the rehabilitation of uh, at risk youth. They will not rest so good there. So I would think in terms of uh, 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 how do I call it oversight that the legislature will not wait until the budget year ends and anticipate a budget performance report before they know what they got, that, that in my mind that you will be following up on what intervention was being made with that money. Because one million, if for example, you want to build uh, rehabilitation centers for at risk youth, one million could do a lot. It could be a startup to say, okay, we're going to the counties, we build one center per county, you can't do it. So, for example, you see the ongoing work as, as oversight, you'll be able to see that, oh, okay, they invest the money in building rehabilitation center for our you. We see the construction going on. We, then you know what is happening. But if you went completely, just say, okay, that's a budget year, and then you can't, say, can't bring a budget performance report so we can know how you spend the money on our raise you. I think it's risky. What do you think? I tend to agree with you. Uh, the $1 million was placed in the recast budget from July. Uh, you know, when you budget, it takes time for, and I'm, I'm not trying to make uh, excuses for people who should be reporting. When you do budgeting, it takes time for expenditure or for you to you receive that money. And so I have been in touch with the Minister of Youth and Sports regarding especially that money. And we expect that report. We should have quarterly budget performance. Budget report. performance, quarterly. But for God in heaven's sake, how many times should we say, Pierre, how many times and every day in session I have not demanded domestic debt accountability? How many times? How many times have, I, have we, few of us, not demanded item mass, item based budget, program based budget? And, and we are trying to sound repetitive. I've repeated. It again and again, and I'm going to start it as we return on Monday. In my opening statement, I'm going to remind us that if we do not have a program-based budget, Senator Dillon, and I believe few of my colleagues, I'm not going to do a long winger thing. We'll put ourselves on record. If I gave the minister or the minister of education one million dollars or whatever amount for armchairs for public schools, give me the breakdown. What quantity of armchairs that amount can purchase or will purchase? And which public schools and which county, the quantity of chairs going to which school and which county? That's what we call program-based at a mass budget. If we don't do that and we keep giving both figures to the, to, to the executive, to run with. In the 2023 draft budget, if we pass it as is, and if we don't put our, our foot down and, and do the appropriation as in keeping with law, we'll be handling George We are a campaign budget. We in the opposition will be handling George We are his campaign budget. And that is why I said, and I will say it on Monday, the right of the people to protest, especially those of us from opposition, is guaranteed. We always enjoy it and must uh, uh, utilize it. Any protest about suffering, any protest about the mismanagement of the governance of the state, I will be encouraging Liberians, especially those who are from the opposition, to protest at the legislature. It is time for UP, for Liberty Party, for ALP, even ANC, and any other party in opposition that is serious to ask governance questions, 
to take the protest to us at the Capitol building. UP, Liberty Party, ARP, you will not issue statement, caution your members in the legislature against doing something. The party, the political parties would not condemn the printing of money and the vast against the printing of money, for instance, then lawmakers from those parties voting for the printing of money. It undermines the growth, the strength, and the integrity, the essence and relevance of the political institution that we represent. Any protest on governance issue to be managed or organized by opposition should be taken first at the Capitol building to us from the opposition so that they can ask us what are we doing with the office that they put us in, especially collectively? Why is it we say it is wrong for Samuel Tway and, 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 and George We are to divide raw fund? How can you, the opposition senators, voting to clear Samuel Tway? Carry the protest to the Capitol building, to opposition lawmakers. We make of us accountability. How come that we pass a budget with $11 million for restaurant city? The money gone, there's still rest, uh, a shortage and an increase in the price of the, but 11 million cannot be accounted for. Yet opposition lawmakers are sitting and allowing it to slap because we, 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 we don't seem to be jiving together. I watched the U.S. House of Representatives election for speaker. If not completely impossible, it, 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 it's very difficult for the Democrats to have won the speakership with the 212 numbers that they have. But the 50 times they voted for speaker, they voted for the them Democrats there. got 212 <coughs> votes 15 times. For their people, they voted Democrat. All true. The, Demo the Democrats voted 15 times, and 15 times they got the number of Democrats that are in the House of Representatives. They voted together. They voted as a black to send a message to the Republican that your tiny majority you have here, we are here. There are certain things required under the Constitution and the law that requires two thirds, not civil majority. You will need the cooperation and the, 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 the involvement and support of the Democrats with their 212 numbers. 212. They did not barge, they did not let down, they stood together. Whether we have the majority or not, we don't have the majority in the Senate. I believe we don't have it in the House, but on crucial, critical national issues, whenever we stood together, whenever we decide that we will stand together, even if we didn't get the vote, but history will be kind to us. Our people will say, our people are standing together for us, but they don't have the number, so let's look for more of the kind to increase their number. But if opposition will be divided even in the Senate, in the, in the legislature, then what do you think about forming one ticket? I mean, look, so holding public officials and agencies accountable rest with us, rest with us in the legislature, especially. We can have majority to pass the budget. That majority can just vanish when it comes to holding people accountable for budget performance report. Somebody just, so posted, a, somebody just posted a senator that the men and girls on a program, they just graduated 35 percent and they said they spent a one million for that program that graduated 35 percent. Even the 35 percent that graduated when they year today, they will go by and say you're going to undo the graduation. <laughs> We'll be, we'll be asking for budget performance report and with specific reference to that $1 million. Uh, because so let, me, let, me, let me just ask you a story. The issue about rehabilitation and mental health. 
Please. You know, um, let me just say this. You know, um, uh, Idi, I mean, Idi, Idi, I mean, Idi, I mean, uh, one of uh, the dictator in uh, in East Africa, uh, Uganda. He, why it is true, you know, there's this history about him being a dictator and what have you. One of the things he did in Uganda, and today they have one of the largest hospitals, was every time there was a budget year, and he had all a minister come and say, he will ask you, how much do you want for this, right? You say, I want this one, I want this one. At the end of the fiscal period, Idi Yami will go to your office and, and grab you and put you in the car with him and say, let go, let me see the, the hospital. You got $2 million, for example, last year. He said you will pay one hospital in this rural park. He will take them. And you know what I mean? You and Idi Yami in the same car going to where you say you pay hospital, a hospital not there. That's how practical he was. And in, you, in, in Kampala, they have one of the largest hospitals in like Kampala, even though we all what they say, but one of the largest hospitals in East Africa is in Kampala, only because Idi Amin will go there every day to inspect. In management, there is something called manager by, management, manager by walking around. Most of the time, the oversight of you guys, you don't wait for them to bring reports to you your tenants say, let's go see it. Especially so when those, or when they when the monies were given for things that are tangible, things that are that we can visibly see, it's easier to go there on some spot visit. So you don't just wait for meter, uh, meter, you know, uh, 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 quarterly report and they bring it and you say, oh yeah, it's cool. So let's go verify these things. Let's see. You say you buy 50 armchair for GW Gibson. Let's go to GW Gates and Minister of Education. Let's see the 50 armchairs. Manager by walking around. Those are the kind of intervention when the, when the legislature just has to make, then it places pressure on, on the government. But, you know, everybody, we just wait, the report come, they say X, Y, Z. Uh, 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 they say X, Y, Z. You look at it, everybody, they oh, yeah, okay, that's it, that's it. We cannot independently verify most of the things they say. If you're saying you, you invested $1 million in Zogo, you can visibly see outcomes. So sure, where are the Zoko? What program did you put them in? How did they come to the program? Where? Which of the facility you used to rehabilitate them? Let's see. Correct. Correct. You have a president who preferred to go around places where people will clap for him and not go do, do the kind of inspection you're talking about. And the former government we have, Every branch has a specific role. Even the oversight authority we have. The only way it can become effective, unless you have people with God in majority to demand and to, to, to compel, in a way, the executive to perform, to perform. The way the president gets up five o'clock, five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, like Sunday or Saturday holidays to go train play football, if you are waking up 5, 30, 6 in the morning from Friday to, from Monday to Friday, to be in office by 7 o'clock, all ministers, in fact, the country will wake up. The way the president loved to be seen, if he was physically inspecting some of these things, how can yeah. you give the Minister of Education $1 million for armchairs, and at the end of the year, you had a fire 10 armchairs, no money, no accountability. Just sad. That is why we must replace George Weir. And we must replace some of the lawmakers. So, yeah, we will have to do so. But not the person. And, 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 and somebody may think that because my time is 20. 29. I wish my time was there yet for me to decide whether I'm in election again so the poor can decide whether I'm married or woman or deserve another election. You know, we have to replace John Weir and the gang from over this country and put serious people in the executive mansion so that the serious people in the executive will also have to turn around What's happening in the legislature? Oh, we have at least 15, 16 senators we've got, we've got 
courage that can say no to the executive mansion. If we don't do that, we're in a long haul. It is, it is troubling. It is disappointing. Sometimes it's discouraging, but that is the reality. If you take a judge we have over there, you pull another judge we are like in the mansion, it will even be worse. But how can the president demand accountability when the president himself is not clear and clean when it comes to integrity, issue of integrity? The president cannot account for why he took money from to build his mansion. The president cannot. The president cannot account for where he took money to build his mansions. The president cannot. The president cannot account for 2,000 US dollars a day for 49 days. You see the travel ordinance? It gives you per diem if you go on government trip. It the pays your hotel, it pays your ticket. It, it gives you $2,000 as president for incidental. That means that's something you were not expecting. Now you got to bring receipt. Two thousand, two thousand dollars for forty-nine days. So the president saying every day something happened that he was not expecting. Incidental. He uh, so he took two thousand every day. Done for the nine days. Let him come and come for it with document. He can't do it. You think? A man like that would be, we have the courage to ask even his ministers questions that's, on, account, that's, that's on, almost, on accounting that, for issues. That over 100,000, I just want in a brief. Yeah. For 49 yeah. days. For 49 days. If for the president is not accountable to himself. More of Jesus in the wilderness. Yeah, he went in there more than Jesus. <laughs> Jesus went for the he went for the end. <laughs> if the president, if the president himself cannot account to himself and by extension accounting to the country to set the pace to be the example, who else you think in his administration he will have the courage to ask questions? You think when they sanction McGill, you think that McGill they were sanctioning? By extension, the sanction George Weir. If my chief of staff is yeah, sanctioned, sure, yeah, yeah, if my yeah. chief of staff but the is man, the is man, sanctioned. The, the man detached from Weir, he saw a arrival on Sunday, he printed t shirt like I only Weir 2023. My girl is still, my girl has a resigned, so to speak, a resigned yeah. Minister of State, is still being received at the VIP launch. I saw EPA and and still. And, and, and we are still of course. So these people don't have time for accountability. What I will advise the Liberian people, especially those from opposition from all walks, John, we are talking it practically. John, we are only waiting for us to remove him by the ballot, and we will do that. Before the election, any governance issue that the country has, especially from opposition. Focus on the legislature. Come at the Capitol building. The men of us, the opposition lawmakers. In fact, where are Liberian businesses to come to the Capitol to say you come in a past budget? How do we benefit? When will you revise the law that you put down say the government can only buy new, brand new cars? And you know we don't have the capacity as Liberian car importers to import a fleet of brand new cars. Why don't you pre-finance us like you pre-finance some other uh, foreign entities to establish themselves? Why don't you pre-finance us so we can import the cars and you pay us and then we bring the spare parts and then we can expand our businesses and then we can employ more Liberians as we uh, expand our business. Where are the Liberian car importers to say what's in the budget for us? Where are the Liberian furniture producers or, or makers? It will say we can buy locally produced furniture. So everything in the budget that has to do with procurement of furniture will go to foreign entities. 
What happened to Liberian-owned businesses? Why don't they phone themselves into corporates or organizations and come to ask our questions, to, to, to ask us these questions so that we can we find a Liberian-owned businesses so that they can bring in the machines and the equipment that can, we have the raw materials, in, we, have the, we have the wool, we have the law. The thing that produces the furniture, the people can export it from Liberia. We have the raw materials here. So why don't we empower Liberian owned businesses with the equipment, the machines, and things that can smoothen the, 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 the furniture to make it look foreign and make it look important? Because the material comes from here. The end product returns to Liberia expensive. And then we'll go in the foreign stores and buy them. Why don't oh, we? I don't know whether you change. I remember Honor Elling, Honor Elling, there was there was a there was a um there was a policy. There were two policies. The first one was all government, like at the Ministry of Finance, all our furnitures were made in Liberia. What stopped it? All our furnitures were made in Liberia, especially. In all of the, the appointed official office, all the furniture there were made in Liberia. And another we thing, should, to, another thing we should help these that, people form on themselves Friday, in on the... Friday, on Friday, what people were people who they were, they, it was a policy for people to wear African shirts, correct? So to help promote Liberian businesses that correct. were doing, yeah, correct. What has happened to Liberians who are doing business with the government or seeking, because the government is the biggest spender and the biggest vendor in the country? What has happened to Liberian businesses that are supposed to be doing, providing goods and services to the government for the government to pay them so that they can expand their businesses and employ more Liberians so that the money can be in circular flow right in Liberia. How many times have we not talked about accountability on domestic debt so we see who the government prioritizing paying domestic debt to, what are their prioritizing Liberian owned businesses or individual Liberians who probably providing goods and services to, to the government and the government is not paying them but prioritizing maybe foreign owned companies. Uh, uh, what has happened to Liberians themselves who are who are feeling the brunt of the mess that this government is creating on their hands on our hands collectively they don't come up when you raise these issues and you you keep talking it you alone it, it appears like it is your one talking and you you are not speaking for nobody you are not advocating for a group of people or entities what has happened to Liberia? what what has happened to the Liberian commerce of uh, chambers of commerce what has happened to the Liberia Business Association? To say, Senator, the thing you're talking about domestic debt, our people are feeling the impact. We want to know what happened to domestic debt. We want to know what are they are paying legitimate uh, institutions and, and, and what informing what informing their priority list of payments and all of these things. You pass a budget, you got three million in it for, for, for procurement of vehicles. Now one Liberian car importer gets a dime already because Liberian car importers are only importing used cars. When will they form themselves together to come to their representatives at the Capitol building to say, these are our concerns. We want to become middle class people in our, in our country. We want to become millionaires too in our country. Our budget practically does not develop or, 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 or grow in the Liberian millionaire, in other countries like where you are, Stephen, you and Pia and Reverend Moore, when the, when the American government passes a budget, Americans... But like, for example, federal government only American American made in USA cars. Budget. Federal exactly. government only all federal cars are made in USA. Exactly. So American-owned companies benefit from the budget in the trillions or billions of dollars. Oh, yeah. all, all the the defense budget, the defense yeah. budget, they contract American owned companies in America to service the defense budget. In Liberia, the procurement of cars, no Liberian car importer get anything out of it. No contract. Uh, 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 furniture, nothing. Even trucking. Trucking with companies in this country, going to foreigners. And somebody said that we should keep George Weir then. Why we will replace George Weir, I will be calling on the Liberian people to place focus on the legislature. 
That is why it is not because I said it, but because the people listen. A few days ago, we said now one truck would come from Bomi or Iron O through Douala to go to the free port of Morovia. Now one. Now one. Now one. The truck that they managed to pass when this thing did not catch our eye at the time. Okay. Now one more truck. We pass, we leave bombing. She will leave bombing. I call on the people. We call on the people of bombing. We call on the people of Cape Mount. We call on the people of Babolo. We call on the people of Monserrado to be themselves their own advocate as well and to join us in this advocacy that we will, will compel Western cluster to perform in keeping with the MDA. And the MDA says the shipment, the transportation and, 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 and shipment of iron ore, all of the mining area will be done through the railroad, the train track. Number row. You can fix our roles like the roles in America. Once it is passing through cities and populated areas where human beings are, you are not supposed to drive iron ore on the road, whether it is made night or not. And I want to thank the people of bombing. I want to thank the people of Bapolo and Cape Man. I want to thank the people of Montserrado County for standing up. This is what elevates our discussion. When we speak, when we raise issues, in advocating for your well-being, when you stand up with us, you give us the strength. You give us the push to push more. And this thing, those who signed the MOU that said the MOU supersedes the MDA, which is law. Unless we can get a majority in the Senate, but those people, the Minister of Justice, the Minister of Finance, the NRC, meaning the National Investment Commission boss, the Minister of Lens and Mines, they will have to appear before the Senate to answer questions. The EPA head will appear. He has to counter on the environmental impact report or analysis conducted to allow iron ore to be trucked on the road from bombing to Montserrat to the free port of Morovia. These questions we have to be answered. Still, that takes a call. The callers, we can leave our caller on a kind of major discussion. It's almost three hours. We we stay on it. Let's go to the callers. Yeah, let's take our wrap up. I think yeah, you yeah. take our callers. Yeah, you get it. Okay. I was waiting for him to do before I made our proposal. So, uh, Ali, uh, two point and now the number there. We'll take a few calls, um, and then uh, we'll, um, so the number I support you to this evening is your triple seven fifty four twenty eight forty five. Zero triple seven fifty four twenty eight forty five, and uh, zero eight eight one ninety five ninety eight zero seven. Zero eight eight one. 95 98 07 07 70 47 2019 07 70 47 2019 and those in the diaspora you can call us up on plus 1 401 688 8266 plus 1 401 688 8266 so those are the numbers yeah, before you take a call, how many times have we, my office, honor my signature, not put on the floor in the Senate about CTN at the free port of Morovia? How it is hiding the importation of containers sent by business people, especially Liberians, the extra charges at the free port. How many times, when now have you seen a group of Liberian importers that are affected by CTN at the free port of Morovia come to the capital as a senator? The thing you're raising, we are the ones that are being affected. And every time it affects us, it affects the end users of the commodities or the items that we brought to sell. How many times? So sometimes when you raise this issue and, and the people who were affected don't come to give you no monetary support, moral support, come with you to you with more 
and you know information and evidence so that you can make a case for it. When you do it over and again, over and again, and even the people you're fighting for and advocating for, if they don't come forth to say we we we, we are buttressing your effort to fight for us, and makes it look like you're talking one man thing and you're talking on your own because you are not talking for anybody. Nobody is coming forth to say we are affected by the advocacy. You are you have raised, and so we came to join you to tell the Liberian Senate or the legislature that this thing is affecting us, and we join you for them to change it and you know to our benefit. So these are the things. But I will be encouraging Liberians who will continue to do so. We 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 are not in the business of bringing in buses and 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 anyway, when the tanker will tell us, open the line for the people. Let me take my first call off. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Call off, go ahead. Good evening, and good evening to the team. Good evening, go ahead. Uh, my name is Achi Parkinson, and I've come to you this. I've been from a team that resident. Okay. Uh, let me say a big thanks to you guys for the level of presentation tonight. Mm. I'm impressed, and I know that hopeful, by God, great JMB will be the next president come 2023. We are optimistic, we are set to make sure that's happy. President we are, President we are, and his team has us has still this country has still the young people. We had a view, we had a passion in that judge. We are to transform like viewer. But today what we see is the opposite. We see the dream of young people going back war, education is back war, healthcare is back war, human development is back war. So we are making sure that Georgia Puerta comes on twenty twenty three to lead like viewer to a better place. That things will be better for we the young people that will have other than the strength. That will have economic power because this government does not mean well for us. Thank you, guys. And I continue to follow the class. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank so, you. So, thank more people. You speak to the one minute. You want to allow for the vote, then you'll be running. One yeah, minute. go ahead. Okay. Uh, I should so much appreciate you people on the class. Mm. I've been listening, I've been listening, I've been listening. But the only thing is that you people need to at least give us small chance so that we the one that very just feeling it. Most of the we the one feel it. So that we can have small chance at least we can share our own ideas to you people. Tell them to tell them. All of you people that own the show. And our queer circle. Any other question for that matter. If you need better men of this country, a left with you. You know what's how to go. If they tell you, say, your man left in water, go for a body, and you don't know how to swim. He can go there. And if you go there, and you don't know how to swim, you know what will, what will be the better man of you there, whether you will bring the body or, or you will leave there for another person to go there. Then he left with the Latvian people for now. All right, Chief. Thank you. On the, on, the, on, the, on the election of Dillon, it was a day that my, 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 Okay. I for Dillon. On my way going, I get on trip. My uncle, everything move for Johnny Ali. Sorry, and yeah? Stay with me to, 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 to stand back for, for, for this disgrace. Oh, way, well, I didn't get him. I didn't get him holding on the line. He said, what happened to his Apple phone? No, not Apple it's phone. Uncle, he said uncle. his uncle. His uncle. His uncle. His uncle. His uncle. Oh, he's gone off the line. Go ahead. Y'all go ahead. You remember his number? Yeah, I can get it. Please send it to me. So, call out on the line. 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 Yes, sir. The only issue of what Senator Dr. Dillon was speaking on is that it is frustrating. And I'm one in the party who will take that. I do not want any in the party senator to be elected, including most of the representatives. I hope the people listening will not be elected. These people are feeling us on a daily basis. They are some of us following the legislature every Tuesday, and especially in the Senate. It is frustrating when you have the citizens crying against something, and then you see your lawmakers voting in favor of that. Everything and at the end of the day, that same thing for the in favor of will come back to bite us on so many occasions. This is the latest one with the due from Coming County. I follow that due to the 
last. Surprise at our Lord, they was giving some of their views, terrible views, on the reason why they were voting in favor of it. Because they didn't want to be blamed by the government of bringing charge, and they were against the government's job. Full of reasoning. Very, very poor. And they can have more like periods echoing the voice of Senator Taylor, and most of the people, regardless of the political party he comes from, I'm a unit by the same. I'm supporting this man. I follow him every day. And everything he preached in the Senate, I all legit almost all of them. And we can really have to echo his voice, regardless of the party he's coming from. No, no, no. Regardless of the sort of thing he's doing for his state. No, no. Like no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Okay, let's run. You know, I just want all of us to do same. Okay, thank you very okay. much. But Jupa, go ahead. Jupa, take your call. Hello. Hello. Yes, uh, you are from the class below that. What's the name of the call? Thank you so much. My name is Jeff Van Carrick, Jr., and I join you for my every resting. In Cinco, and I am the national PR for the Liberian United States at Thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much. Basically, I would love to speak to the issue of uh, the despair of women coming from the Act of the Regime relating to uh, the health status of our former parents from the Act It just speaks for the sensitivity of the uh, sensitivity of on the part of the government of Liberia to forget about the real issues and now speak to the health status of our former vice president. And I want to carry about our 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 LG, our FCD presence of the most twelve. Please do not police our bring our party to protect the case we speak. Because it's, it does that it speaks for you to how 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 uh uh now manage the public look at us. So we are not the we are pushing the standard for our master program. The issues of the Western Coast, we start from a zero now to rather and support the ideology to get the government out uh, to go to election or be elected. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Following the line, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the name of your calling us from? Hello? Hello? Yes, you're live in the class below that. Please tell us your name and where you're calling us from this evening. Well, my name is Amara Epufana. I'm from the from District 12, Montserrat County. Please go ahead, Amara, live on the program. You have one minute. Thank you. Uh, I listened to you people briefly, including uh, Senator Dino. And I want to say this. Again, uh, there was a serious problem during Senator Dillon election 2020. There was a guy, a Kenneth King, who grabbed from on top of the car and broke his shoulder. Senator Dillon is a word of Musa Kenneth, the former Secretary General of PGR, younger brother from Gibraltar, inside Tikifa. And since then, Senator Dillon made the promise up to present as a three. Did not go by but listen, hello, 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 hello. hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, have you people? I mean, tried to reach out to him. I mean, have you people made follow up? We don't follow up endlessly, and the family said they did not go ahead and to the road to voice out that you were going to take a little more responsibility. So, because by then, I think you were in the same way. He said you were going to show out the responsibility. Okay, so. So Senator Dillon is, is actually listening and, and I guess he's taking note. And thank you so yeah, much. Let me conclude by saying this. You know, we are talking about opposition tonight. You can't be here. Oh, we lost that person. Anyway, hello. Hello, this is, uh, my name is Nessa Sosa calling from New Georgia OP. Okay, please go ahead, Chief. Yeah, well, well, I just want to thank the, the Honorable Senator for the kind of celebration and I also want to thank the class well, I think the senator has said it all, and we need the citizens need to rise up. It's not now that the both houses, as you said, they are partly inept, and they are not the interest of the liberal people. So 
preserving people and need, they need to stand up first for this country before they put it in that If the legislation is straightforward and they and they, they know that cannot be solved but it is and that checks them with the executive, the executive will know what it's doing. Or uh, else we will continue to be like this of the dark locker. Thank you so and much. Mark, Thank you so much. Uh, this person is live on the line. Good evening. What's your name? What oh, you yeah. you think that call is coming to tell us the call from the road section? Please, is there what's your name again? Uh, the name remains Abine S. Ovana, and I'm calling this evening from Clarita. Okay, you have one minute. Please go ahead. Okay, you know, uh, my brother, uh, let me take the time to appreciate all of these people in the studio. We shouldn't give up, right, for sensitizing our fellow and no brothers. We have to be the vision for the South country. Those guys have suffered all for the first year. Yeah? We shouldn't allow them to suffer all for the next year. Yeah? You know why I can tell every division? Come 2023, if you are going to the ballot box to re vote George Bia, you should ask yourself three questions. One, you should ask yourself, the Sawia first year in office. What have I achieved as the president? They so we have first days here in the office. What have the brought or or something? And lastly, what do Mr. We are being re-elected or what do I just have a right in the Mr. We are another phase here? If that question comes in a positive, if that answer, answer is your positive, then you can go ahead to give Mr. We are another phase here. But if not, then vote against it. And I think the people can think in that direction, Mr. We are the first one, uh, run. Mr. We are will be kicked out. There will be no second round of reach of election. There will be only a single one round. Just yes, people say I think in that direction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, what a cause there. What a cause there, please. What a cause. Um, I'm a rapper. <laughs> what a cause there, please. Yeah, Amara Fofana says something about me. Um, normally, I don't respond to that, but I have to on this one. Um, I won't say the personal thing that Amara wants, but I will state it on the record. I didn't need to say it. The fellow Amara talk about, Musa Kenne, I think he is the outgoing uh, Secretary General of the President of Liberia. He's a very credible person. He's alive. Uh, I would not call him on the show. I know he's listening. Musa Kane cannot say what Amara said. After that incident in 2020, I drove to the family's house. I took care of that boy medical needs. I paid his school fee to go to school. Amara wanted me to gain the money. I said no. There's an old man in a riot of Balavi, Georgia, Kesley Boulevard that are committed to help with a water business because he is uh, he's elderly, he's a Muslim, my thing, uh, uh, and Amara made it appear that I made a commitment to that old man and did not know what I did. I did not give the money to Amara. I went to that center, riot to Boulevard, Georgia. When I say riot, it means that where, around where I live. I went there. With, uh, Amara was there along with other people, and I went and I gave that woman $200 to improve his water business. Amara know the real thing he wants to, <laughs> he was talking. When you elect me senator and you think you will live on my pocket, no, take a job. The fellow Amara talking about, and I'm calling Musa Kenneth's name, Musa Kenneth. The current or outgoing secretary general of the president of Liberia. He knows that I paid that child's school fee, that young man's school fee, and took care of the medical needs of that kid. The people in Jacobtown, most of them know about it. Because I get the money to Amara, so he think I do nothing. <laughs> Amara, you will eat a dime from all of my personal pocket if you think you get blackmailed me. No, let me say it on the media and I say he brought it to the public. Amara, that everyday harassment, it won't work with me. I'm not like that. I am not like that. I am challenging Musa Kennan. I am challenging the Amara Fofana uh, to call back. 
and tell me what I'm saying is not true, and I, and I challenge him to call Musa Kennan. The whole country here, from the media perspective, knows Musa Kennan because he's Secretary General of the President of Liberia. He sent me a message telling me thank you for his brother's school fee. So when people like Amara Fofana they come because they won't live in my pocket, you can't live in my pocket because government money not there. If you want a senator job for that reason, come for it. And all those who can be doing anything let go on team because you have me for Bibi Dapo. When I gave you Bibi Dapo, it means I mean somebody with Bibi Dapo at that time because I don't have you to give it to everybody. When well, I don't give you at that time, it means that I didn't give somebody. Amara Fofana, you won't be elected in District 12. You want my support. And I said to you, you have to behave me too. You can't live in my pocket. Let me repeat, Amara Fofana and all of those similarly said to that, I will never allow any of you to live in my pocket. Go and ask Musa Kenne in Jakarta and the folks at the junction of, of Jakarta that are having a book there, especially our, our Muslim Madigo friends. Who when they see me and, and everybody want me to run for president, I said no. Go and ask the family if I didn't go there more than once. If I didn't take any of the, the child a medication, and if I did not follow up by assisting with, with, with school fees, why you can't make me can't talk the personal thing I did for that young man and the family? You can't make me talk it on radio. But I'm out of a fascinated. The people who will never bend it, they can cut their party and play as a jingle. Fasten a mouth for fun, you won't even me. Especially blackmailing. Fasten. You won't eat. Why are you talk about the old man are near you there at Battlefield Junction? I gave him money to improve his water business. I walked there myself. When you least expected it, and the people were jumping up that day, when I walked to that old man, to give him when he was yeah. even feeling forgetting. I come here. Oh, your phone, you right there. Oh, your phone. No, you when you rather do your when you rather do your own thing. Well, you 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 no, no, I'm not up busting, yeah. but I'm saying no, I'm not up busting. I had to yeah. make it clear because the people who listen it tonight, the people who listen it tonight may not have had this information if I have I have talked yeah. so the way I wanted to be so I won't repeat I'm out for fun and fasten you will even mean fasten that they are calling yeah, yes, I call on the lamp and you have to go ahead hey my name is Daniel Herman I'm calling from Minneapolis yes sir now uh, you know the, uh, thank you guys for the show grandma Steve Johnson thank you you know we, we used to live on a bad part, Mo Ali, myself, Steve Johnson, we heavily campaign. And I'm the former youth coordinator for Unity Party in my Gibi, Lower my Gibi. Um, I decided to leave politics because of the way things were going, but I'm back because of GMB. You know, people should not be disappointed. Every year I go back to Liberia. And Bia, I'm telling you, the level of human suffering that is in the Magibi, lower Magibi, especially in the Firestone area. You know, Magibi is divided into two. We have the lower Magibi and um, upper Magibi. And lower Magibi happens to be the Firestone, Smyrna, Tis, Dolostown, Peterstown, Cutting Tree area, heavily, you know, densely populated place. And as a result of the downsizing of, uh, you know, Firestone workers and stuff, they have been total human suffering to the people there. And so if you see the crowd, coming out to work on the day. Don't be carried away by that. It's just of, because people are suffering. And so they just want to get money. But I tell them again, I'm telling you, you cannot be elected in that country because we trust our people. They are very smart people there. The next issue is uh, I listened to that nonsense coming out of the mouth of Keith Hassan yesterday. You know, this guy is a Australian. Never been to Liberia before. The first time he ever went to Liberia was Total Water School took him to Liberia. So I listened to him talking yesterday, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. yesterday. I wasn't disappointed, Pia. I wasn't disappointed at all. It just tells the like, great people how low the presidency George will have brought the presidency down. So for some of us, we are not disappointed. But okay. the poor dear who told people that. Exactly. Okay, boss, we got we got mistake and make this man president of this country. Yes, sir. We got plenty of people waiting, so then yeah. Yeah, I mean take Loaza who gave him. 
Morris and this Chris today. Okay. Yeah, Mo Ali, go ahead. Noah, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mo, and the rest of all of you, including my own boss, Nancy and Senator Dillon. And my name is Noah Zahu saying, and I want to say thumbs up for that brilliant response. You know, let me let me be honest. This is not about our price thing, as in said. We work at the Capitol building. We know the difficulties that this uh, great son of the soil encounters. And like during people, we must graduate from this kind of behavior. Where when you elect somebody and you think that because you elected the person, the person must go extra mile to do something that will entrap them in corruption, it is bad. We are the same people. Senator General will not share money on everybody because he's not stealing it, because he's not involved with illegal budget appropriation to, 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 to uh, uh, strangulate the citizens. So understand this. I think the major thing he's doing there is to talk for you, is to expose the ills in which he bring that very well, and we have more that for electing him, and we were electing him again. I didn't say this. Mm -hmm. If I were electing him running, and a lot of guys and the Ministry of Information, I think we would have resigned by now. Because President we are clearly indicated that he has got no trust and confidence in you people for the fact that he can go and confide in one care assigned and has the better protection and does not even know why it takes to perform very well that he will leave you people who are supposed to promulgate government policy and go and confide in such a man. Right there, you are deep as so you should just leave that Ministry of Information because you, that you're just there for nothing. In conclusion, look, let me say this. Conclusively okay. conclude quickly. Yes, I'm concluding now. Let me say this. Uh, and, I'm, and, and, and I'm clear with this. Uh, President we are you came here just the evening in Jacob time. You placed 100 back on right with 500,000 for District 2 for your so-called February 4th. Uh, one million uh, uh, pricing petition. Mm. That money, that money, and that and that and that and those are red you, you brought here. I will make sure the people will eat it in enough, and definitely you will not get even ten percent vote on this too. Get away, Senator Dillon, with your candidate here. Why can't we beat your year again like Trump marching You will get okay on the restaurant there. Oh yeah, impossible. You know, I always eating it. So <laughs> impossible, I will eat. <laughs> No, I good night, man. Thank you. <laughs> you want me just take the single call that I come to you. Call on the line from Liberia. Go ahead. We got a person from Liberia. Go ahead quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening to my, 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 my senator on the demo. I think he know what's you never sack me for a business at one time. My job sack, I can call it your name. You know. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead quickly. Other people within. Oh, okay. Yeah, good evening to my point. Good evening to all my family. There, I want to say thanks to my honorable senator, honorable Dillon. I bless God for your life. But something happened today. I went to Kirsbro and to the Kirsbro era. Where is that? Someone like Iroh Gesson? Someone like Lime Bene? We got a land business there, and the, the people there, they are saying our oh, accidental election business. Say, oh, yeah, one guy to come here, he said, is a constitution mandate that Josh, we are going go for a second time. I said, oh, no, that is not a constitution mandate. When somebody is doing good, you like it, you vote for them. When they're not doing good, you vote them out. But not the good we are is doing. So I want you guys to have to be announcing on the radio that this second term is now a constitutional mandate. Okay, so, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Call up the president of Canada. Let me tell you, I can do you. Call on the language. Hello? Yes, sir. Are you from Canada? Yes. Are you from Canada or the UK? No, I'm calling from China. China, yeah, sorry. Yes. I was missing the number. Yeah, you from China. Go ahead, quickly. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm Hassan M. Kamara, uh, co-chairman of SOD, uh, friends and supporter of the in Asia. Um, 
actually what i want to say is that um, we always praise our 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 leader the people senator senator dylan i greet you i salute you uh my senator and uh i want to tell broad for Fana to stop what he's doing because if you want to if you want to get something from the leader that's not the way you have to do it yeah the best thing he could have done is to go and meet and ask the other boy before coming on a public chat like this and trying to to make like he's an advocate for 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 the guy who got injured or wounded so that's something that really is bad and i also i also thank my senator for the way he addressed it thank you guys yeah, okay. I mean, Jedi, you probably didn't know about that, but if Mo Ali was taking that call, Amara Fofana would not have had the freedom to do what he did. But the young comrade only taking calls, so he just taking call that comes in. Because. No, it was good. It was good. Yeah, this time, time you were talking about you, but not the first time. Amara called here the other time, and then it was him who had to call me up. It was not about you. But he started some kind of thing that was sounding like anti game, the other kind of thing they had to call you, you got to stop that. Go ahead. No, you, I mean, the man, is, the man is democratically free to associate, but when you want to tell a story on somebody and they live in, they got to nip it. Faster, you won't get from me. Guys, we're going three hours, so let's be mindful. Can I take this call quickly, please? Sure. Yeah, Hold up, go ahead. I don't want to say, I'm going to call to you. Yeah. And this is Bobby Abu Meska call from District 6 SD Koporo. Okay. I appreciate that, uh, Senator Dillon. You see, Senator Dillon lays a very good basis when it comes to the people of Latino. Because when you look at the sector, the business sector, Latino business has not been prioritized by their own, by their own government. So it is time, as he raised this concern, it is time for the business, Latino businesses to rise up and went along with him and buy the idea and see how best that Liberia. One thing, we are all set to go to the millionaire. When it comes to Liberia, we have no business millionaire. All the millionaires, these are people who are politicians, who are going to money for politics. They want to go to Joseph today. These are the millionaires. The family that are the children today, they are the millionaires. But when it comes to Liberia business, there's no millionaire. Liberia business has been stimulated by their own government. It does not went that way. So how do you expect Liberia to employ Liberia? Today, that is the reason every young people want to participate in politics because they are not seeing a way to get jobs. So we always stand with Senator Dino and find a left man senator like him who has that idea and rally around him to stand up for the cause of the country. That is the only way this country will move forward. Thank you. We continue to sit and watch one person pushing the logic. Thank you, Bobby. To call on Liberia. Let us stand around with him. We see how best. We can lobby around him to move the country forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think that would do it for my end. So should I take us on this side? Yeah, yeah, Michelle, go ahead. Uh, last bag, you have to take three or so then as your life. Right. The line, go ahead. What's the name and why are you calling us from this evening? Okay, I have one minute, Chief. Go ahead. You boy, without hearing the caller, without hearing our person. Yeah. You still not hearing it. Uh, EFP business. I'm half of an hour, just know if Senator Dillon has been instituted to say the debunk, the debunk this, the debunk this statement, then obviously it was not. People are going to carry the government. Mm -hmm. Hello? You are live on the program. Please go ahead. You are running out of time. If Senator Dillon has not been on air to net to destroy this propaganda, then the, 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 the enemies are going to take that, take that to carry. That was good for him to work. Good tonight for him to be to net in studios to debunk what Amara Fufana has said because this. This? All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you so very kindly. So I think, I think that can make, we said that does it too. Because I don't have call call, call, call on the language. Thank you, Mr. Pierre. Good evening to everyone. 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 Good evening to everyone
I go back to a, to, to a point that a previous scholar made on the issue of this constitutional um, mandate. I think that's something we need to pay attention to, especially at the community level, because for many young people, maybe around the age of 18, the real democracy they've seen in Liberia is from 2005. And so many people would, would think that because Eli had two terms, the current president needs to have two terms. So I think that point that he made with really educating people at the community level is very important and we need to pay attention to it. Oh. They also happening uh, just quickly in Lofa where a representative is running for, it, for the third term. And there are folks there saying to people that you will be wasting your vote because the representative have only two terms. He's not allowed to go for the third term. So we really need to pay attention to these things that come from the community mm -hmm. level. Thank you so much. I mean, that, 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 that's a strong point, right, Senator? Because what the, what, what, the, what we say is that this guy who Kerry Brown say is a constitutional mandate that the president entitled to two terms. Yeah. Therefore, it doesn't matter whether you want to vote Joseph Walker or not, the men will have two terms. So if the, if the other men look at it that way and say, oh, but if it's a constitutional mandate, I like, know we get two terms, no need for me to go waste my time to go vote because the men will get two terms. Correct. Correct. So guys are Correct. Fighting, they all turn away to, 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 to pose themselves you know, deceive the people and we have to pay attention. So it was good that we made our course. Timmy, we can end it there. Okay, Pia, thank you. Um, and thanks to... Um, Let me just put my laptop down. Uh, thank you all for, for the show. Put your, um, please put your number in a small room here. Somebody needs it. Let me send it. I think the person will reach out to you for something. Always something. Oh. To Paul. Oh. Thank you. I'll put my number there too. Why the person said you bought number, they don't say they don't number. <laughs> okay, I want you my little jupon. <laughs> All right, guys. I mean it was a great show. You know, we uh, we talk about lots of issues. We're happy that uh, Senator joined us today uh to talk about this issue. And Senator, as you guys go to session on Monday, beginning Monday. This is our hope that uh, you continue to fight for your people as you always do. The platform, and I'm calling you, Stephen, the platform is a blessing in disguise for Jupal. Every time people watch him, they want, to, <laughs> they want his number, they want to reach out to him. You know, he's a hard <laughs> he, needs, he needs help. And I'm glad that people pay attention and they ask him to reach out to him. And it's good right. to do it directly right to him and not through us. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, do it with him, do what you want to do for him. And you'll handle it personally, which is good. So it's a blessing in disguise for you, Jupal. Thank God for you, bro. Thank God, yeah. But I, let's, you know, let's just wrap up. Um, uh, Jupal, you're close Have to you put a number there? I'm waiting for the number. Know. Please tap it there. Let me, let me send you the question quick. Yeah, go ahead, Steven. I just, I just asking him to put a the number there. Yeah, yeah, you put the number there. Put the number there. So quickly, quickly to sign off on my end. Uh, no, I just, I just want to express my heart for appreciation to the team. I am actually good for. I haven't, I haven't seen the number. I know you're making a comment, but the person waiting for the number. Yes, yes, I, I can graduate. So, and um, I just want to wish all of uh, all of the, the people following. I just want to wish you all happy, God bless weekend, and hope to build the team Monday again. I'm out. Bye bye. Thank you, Mo Ali. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. You're closing. Chuba, are you okay. staying on okay, after the show? Okay. Moali, go ahead. Steven, my, my closing is about a comment one of the callers made. And this is not my first time hearing this particular saying. The seditions are actually going around telling people that the second term thing is constitutional that once you are elected for the first term, the constitution says they will give you second term. And they cite the Ellen Johnson Sally scenario as it was constitutional, so they just give her the election. So what again, Sa I, what again, Sir Charles did too? <laughs> they say that what? So they only care about that part. <laughs> Those who they carry that information to that lie. You are only elected for six years. After six years, if you do good, you sell your case to the people. If they go and vote for you again, like they did with Madame Sally, then that's it. The Constitution is there to tell you 
you were elected for six years. Now, every six years, we can go for election. If the second term is mandatory, then they will then elect you for 12 years. Or they will say, after the first six years, then you come, then you not going to rate you again. We don't have to go to elections. When you go to elections, it's for people to compete and win. You can't say, oh, the Constitution say the second term is mandatory, then they put up people against you, they put up other candidates against you. You are not listen to them, they lie, you all get sense. Good but night. why this recent thing that like people that stupid people? <laughs> yeah, you the poor guy you said yeah, you do nothing. Then, but that is a more ali more close. Yeah, man. More ali come. I got a The poor guy you said yeah, you do that way. Eh. Then they won't move you, then you you you, you find it. I think you close. I didn't finish here, sorry. <laughs> man, you jump in the man close. <laughs> 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 You know that color, that color said I think, and, and I and I remember, I remember that it was is that my first time hearing that. I think this is my second or third time. You know, people will call and say, Oh, somebody call me once they say, Oh, CDC said the election, I get to re-elect president. We are um um the second term is by the constitution. I say which by the constitution, they said I want to tell you on. You know, I had to take my time to explain. So and I wanted to say good. Evening again to Senator Dillon. Um, I got news for you, Senator Dillon. After the show, call me. Mama, no come Thank you. You. <laughs> that, yeah. that situation. You want to you want to the Senator in situation that you can't handle? <laughs> call me after the show. Mama, call after the show. <laughs> I will do it with you. The way he's talking, I gotta do it. <laughs> Pia, let me hear your closing. Um, the presidency of our country is a sacred office. It comes with a lot of responsibilities. It also means that whoever is the occupant of that office got to be a person who has self-respect. Oh, my man, Pia, well. Somebody said the show should be longer on Friday. They will, pre they will provide refreshment. Dawuda. Tamusu. Tamusu. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tamusu. Right. Tamusu. Go so, on for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they get fired, they will say they get six hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah, that office is an office that citizens ought to respect. But the truth of the matter also is that that respect that the individual who sits in the office gets to be earned. If the person occupying the office lives and behaves like a work color Zogo, they will be treated as such. If the person reduced or reduces the office to the dumper, we use broomstick to find the person. And saying this to say, President Weir, you are also my president because I'm a Liberian. We have an obligation to respect that office, but you must earn the respect. And if you will be in the business of openly disrespecting other people who served long before you and who did so with integrity, with credibility, and with absolutely no in their public sector record, then you will be paid back in your own coin. That thing you did with you and your free time mayor about GMB, what you've gotten is just a tip of the iceberg. When you try it again, maybe you will see the manifestation of Prophet Key in some people who will respond to you. We don't want to reach that level. Behave as a president. I don't care whether you, you, you trust the people who you say are your communication people, you got information minister, you got press secretary, you got all these people. You don't trust them. You, you trust rather one free time man. I mean, tell the free time man to communicate your developmental agenda. You just publish some kind of long thing you say that your development, let him do it. Not childish and irresponsible things. Not things that resemble nothing beyond insanity or what the ordinary man would say, craziness. 
that be civilized. The opportunity you got today, it's just by the grace of God, you don't deserve it. Nothing about you qualifies you to be or, or qualifies you to be president. Nothing. The life you live before then, the life you're still living after they put you there, nothing qualifies you to be president. But you are there because that's one of the virtues of democracy, the will of the majority. And in this case, the majority that gave you the power, just a majority that has harmed the country and, and everybody else. We can't question it, we can't fight it, because that's what they call the will of the people. But stop disrespecting people. That's not politics. If you want to be concerned about people who are sick, go ask Pastor Kinsley. He had it. Did not open it, came on social media and say you will get critical health issue on your rest side. And that you may not even end your turn. If that Mo Ali has said that as an opposition man, you're not killing the police or you're harassing the thing you're doing the other day. But you're not going near Pastor Kinsley. I mean, a powerful man of God, you go there, you put breeze on you, you finish. So just stay in your corner and pray again, whatever he says, send your pastor to. Don't try him. We'll be here. The loose thing you want to do, we read the necessary checkpoints. The elections we are about to go to, if you go into it with respect and civility, we all will interact and do it with respect and civility. When you care so crazy or water politics there, will come back in full force, knowing that Newton's third law of motion says to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Mind yourself, my papi, 56 year old person, you're not picking you, old man, Alan, man, good night. Good night, Pierre. Good night. Uh, Paul, you see, Aaron, Aaron says you should, you, you should send her your number, so take her name. My man, I see that blessing. I see that blessing for you. I can see my blessing coming. I see, I see it coming. It coming. <laughs> you <won't. laughs> yeah, so say you your to say you your contact to her. I will you put I will follow you to her. I have a contact with you. I will send your number to her right away. Okay, thank you, Pia. Senator, take Pia off. Told you. Pia told you you want to your Nino Jupo now. Oh, uh. <laughs> 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 Look, um, oh, uh, just here, uh, um, Jupa. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't poke guy. My man, Jupa, your, your, your fire had him. I see more at least fine. Like, what point you in situation? <laughs> Take that knee, say, I'm not there. We don't poke guy. You, you, you took the knee down, right? I yes, I guess, I guess. You go, you go look for the name of it, oh? Yeah, you send yes. the name back. Yes. Okay, okay so um, thank you. Josh, we are playing football to the highest level from Liberia to Africa and the world. Josh, we are was the top striker on almost every team he played for from RE to Cameroon to France to Italy to England to the UAE and back to Liberia on Otama. He's a top striker. But you know something that Liberians did not consider or not consider George, we are Bisa, I think I and Lone Star. George, we are never captain any foreign team that he played on, even though he was a top striker. Most times, the top striker in any club team is given a captain band. George, we are never captain one European team. Not many people can think deep about that. The people saw George Weir as a very tough striker and scoring a goal, but they never saw a leadership in him to get him the captain there. But he captain Lone Star, he was technical director, understandably, because in Liberia, anything can go. 
George Weah did. George Weah never captain any European team, even being world best and top striker on those club teams, because the people saw him and they enjoyed him scoring their goals, but they never they never saw leadership in him. We took the whole country presidency and gave it to George Weah. A prepared, not ready. If you ask George Weah, even for his second term, why you won't run for second term? He will tell you that because the people want him. He will never tell you what he himself wants. George Weah says he's doing Liberia a favor by being president of Liberia, and we should be grateful. When people say those kind of things, when they have it in their head, you know it's trouble. It is a privilege to serve people. It is a privilege to serve your country at that level. At that level, you want to, you want to produce your best. George, we have never had it in him. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have it in him. He will never have it in him. And the reason is simple. George, we are, can learn. The, the capacity to store, ain't you know the memory chip, the capacity. Every phone or every, I mean, your memory stick, it got capacity. George, we have memory capacity. It's small. The most dangerous part about it is he let to delete the old things to bring in you. The man has deliberately refused to learn. Any serious thing. When people, you know, during my election, when we all pulled behind me, I was supposed to go to West Point. And citizens went to West Point on the eve of my entry into West Point. They bought, they got a car, they gas the car, they got loudspeaker, wore my t shirt to announce in West Point, we last speak around West Point, that Senator Dillon was able to come here tomorrow, but for some reasons, beyond his control, he can't come. So no need to come out to meet him tomorrow. Y'all stay home. CDC has got any gift for negative thing. CDC know how to set to calculate negatively. And sometimes it pays off for them. For CDC, for CDCs to sit and craft to go tell our people in the rural parts that it is a constitutional mandate for a president to do two things by force. It is a small political move. Politics, they say sometimes it's by hook or by crook. CDC is always by crook. And if we sit and don't feed on this kind of information to educate our people, they could well succeed at it. See, this is war my t I mean, got a car, gas the car, got last speaker, and drove through West Point to say, our man Diller was up, uh, saying that Diller's out of Kenya tomorrow, but said a situation be beyond his control. He said he can't come. So you're staying home tomorrow. No need to come outside. And the friends of Dillon, supporters of Dillon, have to debunk it. And when I enter West Point, the rest is history. I was in West Point about a month ago, the day my car has it on my job, about a month ago, again. And you saw the people come out. We heard the people. We felt the people. In this Monserrado County, George Mia and the gang will not spark. Citizens know how to tell out their message with negative energy. They will tell you, say, call them dog, name that dog if this person win. They will tell you, I will not run if this person win, if John we ain't win, if our candidate ain't win, don't, don't mind that thing. We got the message for George Weir and the gang. Where I try to portray myself to be one injured, I am one of the most 
sought after in the George We Are Gang administration regime and I'm senator in the regime. When I say bunch of corrupt people, mm, they get so mine because I'm not injured, but they know I don't want to die in the nonsense. And it is the credibility of the voice. They thought they would diminish and kill politically. When they hire their guns on their radio station and everything is about dealing. When, when the Senate votes, even if I did not vote and we voted against something and the Senate voted, they will say all of them did it, including Dillon, on their own radio stations. They don't call their people names. Citizens are very negative with NJ. And they could just read right their NJ focus. We will take the message to Monserrado County and other places across this country where it can reach. Just we are never captain in the foreign club. Even though he was the top scorer, he was the world best and everything. Because those people knew better that they were enjoying his scoring goals for them, winning for the club, but they refused to bring him near leadership because they knew and saw that he got nothing in him for leadership. When your memory capacity is small and you want to store new things, you got to delete the old things. Just we are never lying. And then they refuse to learn by deleting all things that are not necessary so as to have space to absorb and take in new things. A leader must be willing to learn. A leader must be humble. A leader must be compassionate. A leader must surround him or herself with people who can courageously say it as it is to you without fear of being dismissed. One of the reasons why I shine by the grace of God as senator because I have recruited talents in my office. You see Noah Zawu Gibson who call your journal, want to do something and they believe in that office, in that career, the way they can deal with me in that office because that's how I groom them in the office not to have fear of me, to tell me the truth without having fear that they will lose their job. How many times Noah Zawu Gibson go over there and say he disagree with a boss man on the other one? And no, I still work in my office with no fear of being suspended for saying the truth to me for the sake of correcting me to do the right thing. Judge Weir doesn't have it in him. The man has told me, without speaking to me in the voice, by action, said, Dylan, Samuel two and a half jacking me, they're forcing me on the ballot because if I'm not dead, they will not eat, they will not survive. Please, I beg you, I beg you, Dylan. Y'all look in my eye, y'all look at my activities. I'm on a hostel. Y'all don't put me by it because my first time, if I reckless and useless this way, I mean, don't care. We are put me by it, your business. That is the message, John, we are not telling me, we are speaking to me. That's the message we're taking across the country. The people themselves feeling it. The president does not say a word when Liberian citizens get missing. He does not say a word when Liberian citizens get raped. He does not say a word when Liberian citizens are dying mysteriously with no answer. The president does not say a word when his lieutenants cannot account for public funds. He, he does not say a word. He does not say a word. The best football player that ever came out of Africa and that will ever come out of Africa in our lifetime, George Weir, honor his regime, football has declined. You know, I saw that thing coming out of the Ministry of Information today, about um, five years. The way you want to know failure and success is simple. Just go sector by sector, not the manner interventions. Which sector has just we are elevated? Which? 
Which sector? Take the health sector. When you see the president of Liberia go to go dedicate a, a CT scan machine at a hospital, hmm? you know the country is in problem. When you see the president of Liberia go dedicate the pathway for water to pass at a park, playing park, to go dedicate it, the country is in problem. Which sector? The education, the education sector, admittedly, was declared to be messy from the administration of the UP, Honor Elling. George, we are inherited it. The agriculture sector was go almost nowhere. True, George, we are inherited it. The economy was not this bad, but it was better. George, we are inherited the, an economy whose fundamental, the fundamentals of the economy was very strong when George, we are inherited that. Education, uh, uh, the security sector. Show me one sector that has improved. And when you ask for the health sector, they will tell you that they sent 200 doctors or 2,000 doctors abroad or put 2,000 doctors on the, on the payroll. Nonsense. Ask them about the education sector. What have you done to improve it, to put quality in it? They will tell you they're paying one fees and tuition free at the university of Liberia or public university. These people don't understand why it means to build a system and improve it and make it vibrant. Agricultural sector, they will tell you, say, you're removing tariff from on rest, input, input, uh, imported rest. We're removing tariff. You remove all the tariff from the imported rest, it will not improve the agricultural sector. We sector, the security sector, the country is insecure. It is the goodwill of the Liberian people not to go back to the Oakley Pass. Have I got the country sitting down like this? Which sector have they, have they improved? Which? First time in the history of Liberia is everything we hear for these people, it is true. First time in the history of Liberia where in one year, the president is better off than all the people in the country. First time in history. And when the country looks at a donkey, reckless, and, 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 and a president with non challenged behavior toward the presidency, to put him back there, then that's what the country deserves. But I believe the Liberian people will make the case and will make the case for them. I'm closing by saying this 2023, this 2023, any protest on governance issue, especially organized by people from opposition, we from opposition, should be done at the Capitol building against opposition lawmakers. Ask them ask our questions. Don't just get there with George we are. For when the legislature passed a budget and we don't follow it to, 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 to track it, to hold people accountable, they can't deal with us. I'm not saying don't ask the president questions, but if we're passing everything, George, we are giving him, we are aiding and abetting. We're passing everything, George, we are giving, asking for from through the legislature. If we don't have the number, we stand together and say no when it is reasonable to say no. We say no together. When they have the majority to pass it, then history will be kind to us because the record will have shown that these people stood together. They did not get it because they don't have the number. If we see us, we add the number with them. That's how you fight for change. That's how you, that's how you, you, you put whole people accountable. They think about whole day, job we are, job we are, 2023, unless, Serious campaign open. I'm not going to be wasting time with George Weir. In the Senate, I'll do my work there. Every day, we'll bring a Senate to you. We'll bring a Senate to you. And if you see that, if you say we shouldn't do certain things, and you see us in opposition doing that same thing, and then we want to blame George Weir, no, no. Take it to the Capitol building, especially to opposition lawmakers. And when I say some poor gather, 
Ik heb een keer van zo'n vroeg net over het tende, dat kan niet afbeuren. Om maar te denken, je hebt een keer. Als je gelooft dat ik je you, en je zegt, ik put myself back on the ballot, remind me dat ik niet belang ben. You put, it, you put everybody back over there and you expect change, forget it. I'm saying this. When you say the lesson literature is corrupt, then help us to remove or eradicate corruption from there. If you look at McGill, Nathaniel McGill, and put him in the lesson literature, then don't cry and say the lesson literature is corrupt. If you want walk on court, Don't elect people who will vote against war crime court. If you want people to hold the executive and other people accountable, elect people who want to hold themselves accountable to you first. Who want to reform themselves first in order to have the standing to reform or call for reform of other branches of government. You got 15, 16 senators. He can change that president in the margin. They can change the president. He got 15, 16 senators who got a God courage to stand up. Who can spread in the judiciary, the court system. Until then, if you feel good saying, all of them, they're corrupt. And you like, my man, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a good senator already. My leg gone off. When it comes to Amara, I'm digging in my pocket and say no. I'm not a good senator. If I'm not a good senator because of that, so be it. We want to be a good senator by serving you in keeping with our function. I want to thank you. Amara Fofana, Ray Kappa, person. You know, even me. And I challenge you until Jesus Christ come. Go to Jacob Town and ask the people there and the family if I didn't see about that young man's medication and went beyond by doing part of his tuition. Come by here the next time I'm here and challenge him. Okay? Fasten, you will not go. Fasten, where one? You will not even honor this circumstance. <coughs> Stevie, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Senator. And thanks to uh, so my my message. I'm not sure where Senator will remain on the floor. So my message to the Senator is that uh, uh, yeah, until, until we close today. This is, this is twenty. This is twenty twenty three. This is election year. He was the main brain behind this initiative. Yes, I know we made him Senator, which means he has work to do. But for the purpose of this election year, the work he has to do by our action on him should be simultaneously, or as Sawyer would say, concomitantly to what we do on year. Because a work as a senator will continuously not have much impact as long as the executive mansion is not occupied by the right person. Correct. So that means that whatever he has to do between now and election, as far as doing the job we let him to do, that thing is as important as what we do on why he initiated to have the process of having the right person in the executive mansion. That is my plea to him. And that plea also goes to other actors who started the initiative with him. Because the truth of the matter is, if it were not for you, Stephen Johnson, Mo Ali, myself and the other family, the platform would have disappeared ever since. And if we allow that to happen just months away from the elections, that means we all don't have any commitment to Joseph Walker re-elections. So if it is a sacrifice to make, then it's a sacrifice worth making. And finally, let me say to you, Stephen, that way they want your recommendation. Mo Ali is on the ground. Maybe he and Senator Dillon can work together on that. We need to bring Yeka Koloba here as a guest on one of these days next week. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, or Friday. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Yeah, let, let, let I will, work on that. I will get him. Yeah, let me I will get him. Yeke. I will get uh, Jonathan Subway. I will get, we, we will get, we will start the line of guests. Okay, guests okay. relevant to the various topics. Yeah, that's, very, that's very important. Somebody like myself who is a regular actor here, we have some back and forth. You know, I was a little bit angry when the person said it, but I mean, what they said was true. 
that yes, we're doing a great job. We come here, we discuss the issues. We're promoting the DMB mission, which is the main thing we're here for. But the person also believes that having guests, especially guests who are in line with our mission of electing Joseph Walker president coming on to make sure with what we do makes the show more exciting. Right, right. Every time they come, they get more at EPR, Miata, they come in the top, blah, 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 they finish. Miata, blah, 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 they finish. But we we'll bring somebody, our land guests, you know, here they don't stay on the show for the whole time, whether they stay for one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, then we continue. People think they want it like that. No, that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. But you know, Principal, Principal, I can sort of kind of class every day, man. But I will try. I was teacher before. My principal had to come to work every day. Because I don't know yeah. the school running well. My man, every principal school get different roof. Don't try it, man. Then we'll move the principal with Ben Stephen Johnson principal. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You, my man, you don't follow the for power here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I will be, I will be, I will be, please, no <laughs> Okay, guys, I think we have a good night. Let me say thank you. You know what, you know what, we're more than you, please, no Yeah, 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 more than you. Look at more saying, yeah, more you, man, drop. <laughs> oh, the run okay, away. Stevie. Stevie, what are you? Yeah, guys, you know, thanks for the show. Let me say thanks to you. You were asking whether you were before remaining on for, for the show. I thought you had a message for him. Why you were asking whether he would be on to the end? Yeah, uh, because I thought when he goes off, then the audience in Bon County through the radio wouldn't have opportunity. Oh, no, to no, no, no. Flow. Yeah, um, um, Jupon is part of us. So, um, Jupon, right? He's part of us. So, what we do, um, we're not an answer. Yeah, we'll take it. Up. We'll do it with him. Then one day you'll call it a marvel for me. Yeah, somebody said we need to bring uh, a patient and say we'll bring Noah here. Noah be calling, calling, calling. Yeah, Noah, 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 Noah understands the issues. So yeah. bring him here. Well, you, and, 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 and this paper reached out to me, but I'm not concluded with you. Uh, uh, Maxwell Poe, I think he said he was internal affairs minister on a Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he personally reached out to me. He supports GMB, he wants to be part of the disco, he wanted to find space to bring here as a guest so we can talk about the country. So let's keep that in mind, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, guys. Uh, Dr. Walter Pauli and yeah. the folks, yeah, there are a lot of people will come on, yeah. Well, yeah, in the election year, we'll be open to as many persons who do desires to come on. We, we're open, just come, let us all make this happen. We're in the elections, yeah. So we'd like to say thanks to all of our radio stations. That's uh, Bushra Radio 98.1, Montserrado, um, Premier FM 98.1 in Banga, Paul County, Radio Tupa FM 89.1 in Grand Basso, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3 in Lofa, Radio Joy Africa FM 97.5 in Magibi, and of course, Voice of Gompa FM 106.5. I'd like to say thanks to Mo Ali, uh, Pastor Mo, who had joined us earlier. Thanks to Chupo, who joined us from... Uh, all the way there in Banga, Bon County, uh, Pia, and uh, of course, our own Senator, Senator Dillon. Uh, this has been another edition of the program, The Class Reloaded. I'm your host, uh, Stephen Johnson. And uh, thank Shindor. you. Please, please let announce that, let announce that Charles Roberts will be doing, he will be the, how we can call it? Oh, production yeah, yeah. manager. Yeah. Production yeah. man, he'll be finding guests for us. Yeah, guests. yeah, and he will come <laughs> on too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever up all Let announce it, man. Yeah. And including, including Martina Conata, our own daughter, she will be coming on. We will bring our folks on to. Yeah, of course. So yeah, but Martina, okay. everybody, yeah. the platform open. Yeah, yeah. Martina, Martina is okay. You can bring Martina. You can bring Charles Robert. I mean, these are these are people who've been very loyal to the cause of uh, the opposition. Let me not say just you people. And the mission right. is to push for an opposition victory and opposition agenda. So it makes sense for them to come. I mean, yeah. it, adds, it adds flavor. It doesn't subtract anything. That's true. You know, Charles Ch Rawa, Ch Rawa just said, oh, and you know the meaning of that, oh, eh? Yeah, Ch <laughs> you got, send, send Ch Rawa, you, you, got, you, got to, you got to talk to Charles Rawa. Ch Rawa, you know me, I can do my thing with fire. I got pissed off. Uh, 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 uh,
I got pissed on my man. Out of my ball. Listen, I don't talking bad thing, but I got pissed on with him and blocking. And the reason was simple. Okay, I'm blocking. I try to rather I'm blocking. When I wear my crew and I take picture, the man will bully, the man will take a picture, he's going to repost and say, this young boy said he's going to the gym, but I don't know going to the gym, there's so many growing. I don't know where the gym come here. You try to bully me. And then you are doing that consider with different, different issues. I say, okay, I'll black him, man. Say you looking for trouble. But I will unblock him. We in one struggle to get on. Unblock him now. The way your stomach, the way your stomach went now, unblock him. You go, I must say, you say, I'm not going to. The way your stomach gone now, now, unblock him, man. When your stomach grow again, then you block him. I don't know. I can't, man. It was a good show. Thanks to you all, you know. Uh, fuck yeah. Up. We've gone, we gone almost four hours, man. It was a good show. Uh, it was Friday. But yeah, well, we got to thank yeah. Senator Lawrence, though. Senator, yeah, we got to thank Senator, Senator Lawrence. Lawrence. Uh, for, yeah, uh, thank her uh, for Bourgeois Radio, for Radio Dupa. Rachel, Rachel yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, always. Radio Dupa has been one of the most committed radio stations since yeah. we started this show. Every day they are Radio Dupa. Uh, unless there's a technical glitch with uh with uh uh, uh, uh bourgeois bourgeois other than that the uh, right I'd like to thank uh, bourgeois is also airing steve the zago. Costa show steve zago also steve zago also yeah senator zago yeah, yeah. right senator steve zago right. from lofa i'll like tell him thank you and of course you know um uh, our own prince moe right. help us with this whole um, rebecca uh, rebecca cover says she wants to contribute a lot to what if she listening, Rebecca Cover, she just in fact she just posted, I want to contribute. I don't know what I used to yeah, do. I think that's a good point. I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's a good point. But before we go, yeah, but before we go, uh, Stephen, Sam Piana Prince Charles, I want to think of that. Let me ask you. What about balance of balance sheet? Oh, yeah. What was it? <laughs> the man, the, the man will go will start talking the formation of CPB. He, Mo Ali, Boaga uh, uh, Kaleba, uh, Telia Yure, uh, Claude Pume. We start forming this thing here with the, the call CPB today. <laughs> the man, <laughs> the man <laughs> should talk. <laughs> The man is in the Instagram or else, but I said, Mama, what have you said, Mama? Like, in fact, from the day we'll be having the formation of CVV meeting, right? Okay, guys, I thought that was a good thing. Thomas, Punch up and come in live. Hopefully, this month they'll be doing test broadcast. They're working on a towel. Yeah, oh Bush already is also show, carrying the Costa show. show live every day from yeah, Monday to Friday. Yeah, you know, and, and, and that's that's the best you can do for yeah. to, yeah. to help us. And yeah. that's why when you imagine when we open the lines, people will be calling people will be calling from, from all over the country. Yeah, yeah. So it shows that you know uh, we're doing something very good here. But I mean it's good that even our own the whole opposition to all can listen to this show. They just pretend they go one more week. When we go off land, they can't spend four hours in listening for start to end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what happened there with you, Am I and your eating? Oh, that picture. Yeah, I still get that picture on my page. <laughs> and we suffer you with that picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is. When you're closing the show, TV, before you, before you, when you're closing the show, all the people who are making commitment, I don't know why you're scared of pulling Abu Kamara on. I want you to play Abu Kamara on before you go to this. The... No, I'm going to send it out to upload it in there. I'll get that video. Yeah, I will do that. I will do it. I'll send it to your email ever since. No, when you send it to my email as a link, you have to download it. And then you upload it here. So I will do it. I, 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 it I want the people to hear about when people is. Uh, I'm not chanting or shouting. You know, you know, you know, you know, I can't talk. You know, I can't talk. Already I get that. But I enjoy Abu Kamaise. Take it to the vault. 
Ei no, ei no, Itália, toma, olha, olha, levou ali, que eu fazia um codinho, eu não ia ver o Evo. Yeah. You will not be able to evolve. That Japa, why ni Abu Kamau was signing ticket to the vault. You are speaking with confident <laughs> as I'm speaking to your boy. Ticket to the vault. Evolve. If you don't call Gelo, I will not run in 2023. And you can take it to the vault. <laughs> <laughs> Your number, your number, your number is being asked for again. Uh, the number is um. One minute, yeah, hold on. Steven, I mean, keep that man. Uh, let me call it a picking number to that person before we close. Uh, you would just ask the number is 0881, and that means if you use 231, you move the zero. So it's 0881 849-404. 0881-849-404. I mean, anybody else who are asking for the number, just if you're still listening to the show, just take the number 0881, or you can say plus 231-881-849-404. Plus 231-849-404. So that's the number for Jupal. If you want to contribute, use that number. Take it to the phone. So Jupal, when they put contributor, you wouldn't want to know the amount. Just say somebody contributed so we can be able to tell them thank you and appreciate it. The amount is that you the amount for you and then I want it up to you like a secret. We want to know it. <laughs> Take it to the vault. Take it to the vault. The only thing I will add there is I will never try to put that as you as you're doing good for Jupal is a good thing. But Jupal is working for an entity. So let's think about the entity too. If that entity is not on the air, Jupal will not be here. So let's do both. Thank you. The end of this, oh, but say the queen boy, man, let the pop, let the pop guy listen. That's true, but the let the manager, other people who there, I'm the queen boy. Yeah, you know. Padla, padla, padla. Vote means the vote. Take it to the bank, the savings, you know. Take it the savings. Yeah, I said take it to the vault. I don't want to tell him when. Are you talking about vault? Stephen, the man said vault. So don't don't. Yeah, take it to the vault. Let him take it to the vault. Then Carlos said, "We were well." Carlos said, "We were well." What we get here? What I want to say, you poor child, we are and all the citizens want to get you a beat, and that the main reason why we were well, we get here, we met tell on the show. Yeah, and he said. We met them. I was telling them, shut up, Senator. I don't know what we did, my height. Talk about I'm back. Yeah, I said. Yeah. But Malu said he would be there. You know, Sidisha and the other guy raised the battle crowd. Yo, yo, Senator, they don't want political oxygen. Yo, yo. And that 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 moving at all for our very own political oxygen. Oh man, oh it's not a feel. Oh man, oh man, I find it. Yeah, they we can play. We play that feel. Play, play, man. Thank you. We are convinced. We are convinced. The line is not much. He wants to go to Polonia when we are here. I tell the long days. I'm Mobake Malu. Chairman of the Coalition of Democratic Change. On December 8th, one of us will leave this position. I will defeat the law. The law, if I don't defeat you, let me resign as chairman of the CDC on December 8th. I buy my hundreds of thousands of seditions will retire you peacefully. Yes. You'll be retired. You'll be free. You'll be fair. You'll be democratic. You will not survive politically. Yo, yo, in surviving on forever oxygen. Yo, yo, yo. You can. Ha, 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 ha.
Ma me la mica ma cos'è? Io gli so famiglia pure le cose che io, io, io! La mica ma pure le cose che io ho avuto, a un gusto. Io mi dico a te. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My people, where you at? Where you at? Wake up on your stomach, stop slipping. Uh huh, uh huh. Whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your hands, whip your. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're sleeping now. You gotta whip us some more, yeah? Okay, let's go. The people lie to us. The baba may betray us. I say we tired with their lies. We tired with their promises that led us to all our damages. We tired with that speech they preach in the and now you need to deceive us. The thing we saw it frustrate us. So why can't you lie? Why can't you steal? Why can't you allow the citizens to be? You see, we just tell you that why we both tell you. But you screw us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that's the question that we ask. People fool us, so. they people lie to us. 